Hello. Sorry, I, I was gonna play Stardew, but... I, I've been thinking about Animal Crossing all day. <laughs> I've been thinking about Animal Crossing all day, and I just, I don't... What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I can't stop! I can't! I, I was- I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't stop. Anyway, let me get my game open. Um, I am ready. Can't stop, won't stop. Exactly. Also, um, I've been doing so much prep work for my Able Gamer stuff today. Oh, I don't even have my Switch docked! Oh, it's not even my Switch, it's Dan's Switch. <laughs> well, maybe I'll show you around mine. Maybe I'll show you what I've been doing on my Switch. Maybe we can work on her. I don't know. Let's do it. It'll be fun. Great time. Party time. I don't know. <laughs> Chelsea, thank you for the thousand bits. Oh, I put my Halloween um, alerts back on. They're purple and orange. It's horrible. <laughs> Functual Hellcat, thank you both for the subs, by the way. And Schmitty, thank you for the five months. Thanks, everyone. Um, okay, wait. I want to turn on. This is so annoying. Wait for it. 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 Wait. There we go. There we go. System settings. System. Date and time. Synchronize clock via internet. Sure. I'll show you what I've been doing on my island. <laughs> It'll be fun. Danny, thank you for the tier two 12 months. Punctual with the two months. Uh, Mira with a six months phase with the prime sub. Thanks, everybody. But yeah, I made, um, it's orange. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, but I made my, like, uh, schedule graphics and all these such things for my April Gamers event. So I put my Halloween alerts back on. I mean, today's the last stream before the charity event starts. So, like, it's fine. <laughs> it's worth it. It's fine. <laughs> Um, Maya, Cell, Chels, M, Lacey, Class Abstract, Real Laura, Smara, April, thank you, Craft, and Small Blue Penguin, thank you all for the subs. Um, I feel like with each passing year you get more into Halloween and I'm here for it. Maybe. I suppose I did plan a <laughs> giant charity event with a 154 people this year for Halloween. Maybe I am into Halloween. Hmm. <laughs> You know, now that you put it that way, you met the Duchess of Cambridge this week? Really? I did not, Lewis, but that's cool. <laughs> One day, hopefully, Hollis, Craft Dinner, thank you for the subs and bits, everybody, too. Um, but yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I am getting progressively more into Halloween as the time progresses. <laughs> okay. Right now on Bridgeport, it's 4.04 p.m. on Friday, October 22nd. Yes, it is. Oh my god, Sif, I'm gonna be honest. When you said that, I really read that as what are your thoughts on Darwin? Like, Charles Darwin? And I was like, <laughs> why are you asking me that? <laughs> but you said Darwin, the Animal Crossing villager. But I, I saw it and I was like, thoughts on Darwin? <laughs> people ask me all sorts of weird things because I have a history degree. So people will come in and like, they will actually ask me questions like that. Like, not, that's why, I, it's understandable to assume. But, um, <laughs> I, that's funny. We're gonna play The Sims again on Sunday. So our charity event starts on Sunday. Um, I'm gonna stream, I'll show you, let me show you my, um, my plans for next week. Let's talk about it. Let's break it down. So, our Halloween charity event begins on Sunday to raise money for Able Gamers. We're gonna be live every day from Sunday to Sunday to celebrate Halloween um, for our charity streams. Um, we're starting off with The Sims on Sunday. I'm gonna be live for a long time, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. So like all day on Sunday, we're gonna play The Sims. I'm gonna do like a spooky rags to riches in The Sims 4. I kinda wanna play the ghost hunter career, but like also be a vampire. So that's my plan. <laughs> um, on Monday, we're gonna do donations control my build. Um, so that should be chaotic and so funny. Um, we're gonna do shell challenge tours on Tuesday. We're gonna play Animal Crossing again on Wednesday. We're gonna build a haunted house on Thursday. We're gonna play Among Us on Friday. And if we reach the donation goal, I'm gonna do a Mario Kart drinking stream on Friday night, like a Simsy After Dark late night stream 
as well. On Saturday, baking stream, we're gonna make some Halloween sugar cookies <laughs> um, and like decorate them and stuff. Um, and then on Sunday, like on actual Halloween, we're gonna play mostly The Sims all day, 12 hours, live from noon to midnight um, and celebrate Halloween. So, um, Eastern time, Underwolf. So uh, it's currently, if it helps you, it's currently 4 p.m. for me. Um, so most of these streams are gonna be happening at the same time, um, except for the long ones. So, it's currently 4 p.m. if that helps you. <laughs> I live in Orlando, um, I'm on Eastern Time, and sometimes I was like New York, if that helps too. Um, oh, Lewis, really? That makes me happy too. <laughs> Kayla, Boring, Cody, Bobby, Simmer, Rainbows, Kels, Flute, Dippy, Katie. Um, thank you all for the bits and subs too. Um, but yeah, we've got some big plans. Definitely eight streams, possibly nine if we get to the donation goal. Um, as part of this Halloween party for Able Gamers. So we're playing with a lot of Sims next week. Um, do I have a costume? Oh yeah. <laughs> I have a couple. <laughs> so <laughs> this should be fun. Um, SGB, Faya, thank you for the subs, both of you too. Um, but uh, if you want to see the donation page, this is the donation page. Um, my goal is $100,000 for Able Gamers. <laughs> um, that is my goal. That is that is my dream. Um, we also um, the goal for the drinking stream is fifty thousand. By the way, um, and if we raise eighty five thousand nine hundred and fifteen dollars and sixty one cents, that means we help will have raised total a million dollars on my Twitch channel for charity. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, we're getting close to a million dollars total raised for charity on my channel, so I guess maybe that's the real goal, is the 85,000. But... <laughs> is EST the same as British GMT? No. Um, GMT is five hours ahead of, of Eastern time. So it's 4 p.m. Eastern, it's, it would be 9 p.m. GMT right now. Or I guess, or you guys are on British summer time, but it's the same. Um... Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Time, British Summer Time, GMT, whatever. It's, it's five, you're, the UK is five hours ahead of me. <laughs> um, it's always five hours ahead. Uh, kind of Donnie, thank you for the 31 months. Rachel, Via, thank you. Hannah, all with the subs and stuff too. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited. <laughs> so if it helps, yeah, time zone converters are helpful. Um, I happen to know that conversion very well because, um, I had a long distance boyfriend in the UK for three years. <laughs> um, but okay, so we're gonna, I want to mess around on my island a little bit. Um, this is my island. I've been messing with it a little bit. I've pretty much only adjusted, like, stuff up here, though, by my house. I haven't really done much, um, elsewhere, not next to my house. But I wanted to prepare for possibly getting um, the the farm stuff soon. So I've made like a little farmhouse vibe. So like these are gonna be my crops. I'm gonna have like my tomatoes and you know. <laughs> um, that is my plan. Um, then we're gonna have some more over here. It's gonna be great. Uh, over here is my orchard. It's adorable. Um, my campsite. Basically I'm switching some of my paths to be like this one. Um, and I kind of like it. Is my dream address out already? Uh, I have an old dream address, but I don't have one for this stuff. Uh, you'll quickly realize that this is not done. Let me take you somewhere else. <laughs> um, so, at the moment, we are <laughs> considering redoing everything. <laughs> So, let me show you my map. <laughs> Basically, I'm considering, right now I have like some houses sort of like spread around a little bit. Um, and I'm considering consolidating all of those houses into one area. Um, to be like one um, neighborhood. And then, well, I guess it would be two neighborhoods. It would be these four together and then the other six up here and then moving the museum down here is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but that was more than I originally intended to change. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> um, I've started kind of thinking about laying it out like that. I might regret it. I might not. I don't know. Am I playing Mario Kart anytime soon, Bestie? Oh, Carol, yes. In fact, if we raise $50,000 for Able Gamers next week, I'll play it on next Friday. Um, so, yes. <laughs> uh, Shop Soap, Sab, uh, Odak, and Lewis, thank you for the bits and subs, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, has Dan transitioned to saying American words like pants for trousers? Um, no, sometimes Dan says things that I say, and sometimes I say things that he says. Like, for example, I'll use the word bin instead of trash a lot. I don't know. That's just kind of how it works, though. When you spend a lot of time around someone, you kind of, like, pick up each other's <laughs> words, you know? So I, I say a lot of the same things that he says nowadays, and I think vice versa, so. Um, Sylvia, thank you for the prime sub, and Taryn, thank you for the bits, too. Um, but anyway, I'm very excited because I think I'm going to redo everything. <laughs> so other things that we have going on, um, this is my secret beach. Um, that's been there for a while. There used to be a lot more around here, but I've been like slowly digging up everything. I think I'm going to also move my museum um, to be on the beach temporarily so I can move everything around. And then the museum's gonna end up being down here instead. Oh God, oh, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. We're switching everything. Besties, it's happening. Haven't seen this island before? This is my, like, what I consider to be my main island shops. This is the one that I, like, have been playing on since March when the game first came out and stuff. Um, but I've been playing on Dan's Switch and my Animal Crossing Switch, uh, my, like, green island a lot recently because I kind of, like, finished this one. But now I've torn it down. So it's not finished anymore. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I have Elise again. Okay, so here's the situation. I think as far as villagers go, so I feel very, very attached to most of these villagers, like to the point that I don't want any of them to leave. However, I think that Pashmina can go to be replaced with one of the new villagers and, and maybe Bo. The rest of them, Freckles is my best friend. I spent eight months looking for Pietro. Camel Frog is Camel Frog. Um, Elise is my worst enemy. I recently got her back. I had her as an autofill about a year ago. I recently got her back and I don't want to get rid of her again. So she's here. It's happening. Um, but these are my villagers. Also like Whitney, for example, Whitney's catchphrase is snappy. That's my cat's name. I can't get rid of her. So <laughs> that is the situation. Keep your enemies close. Exactly. Yeah, we gotta tear down everything though. I, I'm, I've ruined my island. It, we have, <gasps> Leaf is here! Oh, thank God. Okay, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> All right, what do we got to work with? Iron nuggets? I'm gonna move the museum. This is happening. This is a disaster. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at my mods chat. My mods went to update the Y command and they could see in um, Moobot's activity feed, it just said, Moobot left the chat. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyway, um, I need to, about, I want layout, I want layout changes, thank you. The museum, I can't believe Moobot would abandon us like that. It's fine, she's here. So. <laughs> oh, it's your birthday! Cassidy, happy birthday. I can sing you a song. <laughs> yeah, you can't move the airport and you can't move resident services like the town square, but um, it can be everything else. All right, I'm moving the museum to the beach just to get it out of the way. This is a big mistake. <laughs> I am making a big mistake. I, why have I committed to redoing everything? Mm, it's fine, it's fine. It's worth it, it's fine. It's fine. When's the charity stream? It starts on Sunday, Man Made. It's gonna be uh, a whole week long though. So it starts on Sunday, but we're gonna keep going and going and going and going and going. Oh, Apple hat. 
I never knew it. Okay. Anyway, I'm putting the museum on the beach because I'm moving them out of the way so I can redo other things. I have until November 5th. That's not enough time. <laughs> oh, anyway, museum just on the beach so that I can get it out of the way so I can make my neighborhood where it is currently. Besties, we've made a big mistake. Sturdy Valley looks weird today. I hope I, ha I can't stop playing this stupid game. I don't, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Could be a maritime museum. No, I'm gonna move it back onto land. I just need it out of the way. Um, eventually the museum's gonna be like in this area. Um, I, I have a plan. I just, I need it to be out of the way first so that I can do stuff, you know? Okay. Yeah, you can, Casper, you can. You can donate internationally. Um, whatever is easiest for you. But yeah, our charity stream starts on Sunday, and like I said, it, it's gonna last all week. So we're starting on Sunday, and we're gonna go until Sunday. So it's actually eight days. Um, so I'm very excited. Um, big stuff happening around here. <laughs> Oh, Nacho, this is a pro controller. It's just, um, it's like painted. It's from Colorware, so that's why it's not the same. It's it's the same as this, like the actual pro controller. Um, it's just painted, so that's why it looks gray. Um, I got it from Colorware. Uh, I don't recommend getting it from Colorware. It's very expensive. <laughs> and it's the same as um, a regular one. It's just a different color, so. <laughs> it's pretty though, um, but yeah, I, I, I like mine, it's just, it is um, admittedly a ridiculous purchase. So. <laughs> anyway, so as far as like uh, my villagers go, I mentioned this before, but I want to get at least one, if not two of the new villagers on my island, I think. Um, I want in particular Marlo, the little angry hamster, I think is the cutest thing in the entire world and I am obsessed and I, I just, I need, I need. So, um, <laughs> that, that is, uh, something that is very important to me. Have I ever played cattails? No, I don't, I haven't. On the Green Island? No, this is on um, my main Switch. This is on my the Switch I've been playing on since the game first came out. Anyway, I'm just I'm digging up most things. Although, granted, this area I don't need to dig up just yet. It's the stuff over here that I need to mess with. Um, I need to make this cliff bigger too, because I need to be able to. Um, I might just chop these trees down as well. I knew you'd be playing Animal Crossing. Bruin, I wasn't planning on playing Animal Crossing. I just can't stop. I'm it, I'm not doing good. <laughs> oh. Okay. Bestie, it's okay. It's the best game ever. It is. It is. Let's be real. Okay. Oh, Lewis. <laughs> I'm sorry you don't like Dan's stream. <laughs> Maybe you don't tell me about that though. <laughs> it's really common to have text-to-speech stuff read out things on Twitch. Um, I don't have text-to-speech anymore. I had it like when I first started streaming, but um, there comes a point where it gets to be a little bit too much, so I don't have it anymore. Um, okay. Lena, Kayla, Louis, Snazzy, Samara, Sophie, mostly unenthused. Uh, Macy, Ollie, thank you all for the subs and bits and stuff too. Um, Nookazon stream, please. Doing what on Nookazon though? Okay, I'm gonna break down that. Uh, I'm gonna move it eventually to be somewhere else. So. At the very least, I need to get like a couple more tiles. I'm gonna have to move Pashmina's house out of the way too. Cause it's it's gonna mess with my ability to make this bigger. 
but... You like my little mushrooms? I like my little mushrooms too, Hope. I'm glad that you like them, because I think they're cute. <laughs> I did a nook- I did Nookazon on stream one time, and it didn't really end well for me. You see, because I- I listed something on Nookazon, uh, on stream, and then people from chat, like, you know, offered up to buy it. And then a bunch of people wrote fake reviews on my Nookazon and called me a scammer. Um, and I really didn't like that. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, I don't- I, I- I found that I don't really want to, um... <laughs> <laughs> use Nookazon anymore. But we- the thing is, I was like making jokes about how, um, people like only bought my thing because I'm streaming. Because it was like people in chat that bought it, and then everyone else was like, haha, I'll make a joke about you being a scammer. But like, don't write a fake review on Nookazon about me being a scammer. Bestie, think that one through. <laughs> don't call me a scammer on Nookazon. You're gonna make it so I can't use this. <laughs> Um, so now I don't know if I want to use Nookazon on stream. <laughs> okay. So I need this to be a little bit wider, because I need more space, um, so that my, uh, neighborhood is not so skinny. I need the houses to have, like... I'm basically Nookazon trade with me, yeah. Nookazon is- Shan has everything. But Nookazon is a website, um, where you can, like, trade things in Animal Crossing and sell stuff in Animal Crossing and, and things like that. Um, it's pretty fun. Uh, sometimes things are a little bit overpriced. Um, but that's fine. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yesterday, Ro was at my island and he had the Rosetta Stone. Aw, that's nice, Hope. I know all about the Rosetta Stone in Animal Crossing. But yeah, Nookazon is, um, useful when you're trying to get a very, like, specific item that you can't access. Like, maybe you want, like, a very specific DIY, but, um, it's not, like, in season anymore or whatever. Uh, you might be able to find someone on Nookazon that is offering it for sale, and you could, like, give them bells or something for it. Um, which is kind of cool. So, Riven, Elizabeth, happy birthday! I can sing you a song, Elizabeth. Where's my harmonica? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where you find my dream address? Th my dream address, um, is the- is the Bridgeport one in that list. Um, I, it looks very different than how this looks right now. I'm warning you. Because I am absolutely destroying everything on my dream address. Or on my island, so... You've been warned. But <laughs> I do have a dream address. <laughs> yeah, Nookazon is kind of cutthroat, I feel like. Um, it is- it is useful, though, because like I said, if there's something that you can't access and, like, you don't know anyone who has it, it can be helpful to, like, trade with someone on there. But, there is also the fact that people, uh, overcharge a lot. And there are places where you can do, like, free trading with communities that are, like, happy to trade with you for free. Um, like, for example, we don't allow people to charge prices in my Discord. Um, so, you know, you can get things without having to pay someone 600 Nook Miles tickets for Raymond or whatever, you know? <laughs> um, it is possible. <laughs> okay. No FEAC, exactly. No FEAC is really good. Also, no FEAC, um, one of the mods of that Discord server, um, is here, <laughs> literally right now. <laughs> um, but they offered up, um, during our last charity stream and in this charity stream, they've offered to help do giveaways um, in Animal Crossing, um, which is super cool. So they offered up for our stream and for the other streamers that are taking part in my charity event, like a bunch of stuff to give away in Animal Crossing. So on, on Wednesday, not today, but next Wednesday when we play Animal Crossing on stream, um, I have a bunch of things that we're gonna do giveaways in Animal Crossing for to bring you guys stuff, which is so cool. So if you play Animal Crossing, we're gonna have some in-game giveaways for like items. Um, but I'm really excited about that. So, <laughs> hopefully you are too. Um, I think it'll be really fun. It was really fun last time. And it also, just in general, very generous of them to, like, offer not only for our stream, but, like, also for the other streamers. Like, just how cool is that? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty excited. So. <laughs> I can't wait. 
I'm gonna need to move this guy, but I might let him be there for now. When is that? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Yeah, you'll have to have Nintendo Online to receive the item, Sophia. Unfortunately, that's that's not like our fault. That's just how it works. But um, if you play Animal Crossing and you have Nintendo Online, um, you will be able to enter those giveaways. Okay, I'll probably do it like that for now. I ran a turnip ring the first week of Animal Crossing. <laughs> I remember that. I ran a turnip ring with Dan once too, because Dan's island, he had like really good turnip prices. So me and Dan ran a turnip ring on his island once too. You had Whitney on your island and she called Bo a dull pencil? That's mean. Yeah, I think that Dan had turnip prices at like 465 or something too. I think Dan's was close to that too. Um, I'm five star. Yeah, this island's five star. You wouldn't know it looking at it right now, but it was at one point a five star island. <laughs> you hosted 450 for 12 hours straight. Oh my god, we only did it for like, I don't know. I think Dan and I did it for like two hours. Um, we made a lot of money though, because people kept giving us tips, so that was fun. <laughs> it was so weird. So back like when, I don't know what it's like now, because I haven't been to any turnip islands in a long time, but back then, um, we posted in a Discord server our turnip prices, and I was always like so fascinated by those Discord servers, because like, the, the channel goes so fast, and you basically just post a screenshot of your turnip prices, and then see what happens. So we posted it, and then, I, I swear to God, instantly I had like 20 DMs. Like that, instant, 20 DMs of people wanting to come over to my island. Like people are just scouring that, looking for good prices. It was so weird. And then they all came over and then they gave me bells. So, <laughs> uh, those, that was weird times back then. But yeah, you get like flooded, yeah. And, uh, Wendy, Katie, Alice, uh, Marie, Alicia, thank you all for the subs. And that wasn't even, that was not on my island, that was on Dan's island. So, that was kind of fun, though. But yeah, I've, you posted your dodo code? Oh, that's a big mistake. Oh, yeah. You don't want to give out your dodo code to anybody. <laughs> not in a, not for a thing like that. You only DM it to them for a thing like that. The other problem is that we, there were a couple people being, like, kind of rude. Like, um somebody, she kept coming back and then invited her friends. Like, she didn't tell us that she was gonna sell, like, multiple rounds, and then she just kept coming back, and we could have, like, changed the Dodo code, but I was just gonna let her, because, like, whatever, it's fine. But she didn't, like, ask if she could do multiple trips, so she just kept showing up, and we'd be like, what is happening? Why is it full? Oh, here she comes! <laughs> um, so, like, that was kind of annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, but then, then she, like, gave the dodo code to her friend, too, and, like, without asking. If you had asked, it would have been fine. But, like, without asking, you just... Hello? <laughs> you can't just do that. Where did I put my trash can? I think I put one down by the... Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, so the reason that you make money from hosting those turnip rings like that, by the way, is that it's like really normal to, um, if someone lets you come to their island to sell your turnips, that you would give them like a little bit of money, like a tip in exchange. Because if you're making like four million bells selling your turnips on their island, it's like pretty common to like drop some bells for them um, in exchange. So. A little bit of money is like 200k. Yeah, but like, again, because you would come there and then make like 4 million bells, you would give them some of it too. Like a tax? No, it's more like a tip in bells to the person who let you come over to their island. Um, because again, like, they've graciously allowed you to come sell your turnips there. People generally tend to give them a little bit of money in exchange. Um, but yeah, don't ever go to one where, like, they're saying they require you to tip them. <laughs> don't, don't hang out with those people. But if, if they're like, no fee, but tips appreciated, then, then those people are good. 
you can go to their island. They're, they're, they seem trustworthy, but if they're gonna require a tip or a fee, don't, don't do that. I, I wouldn't get involved with people that are requiring fees. You didn't set a fee and nobody paid you? Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> but, what if someone else on the island steals the tip? Well, usually you would drop it like right next to them. Um, I don't know. It's not that big of a deal, but if you get into the turnip scene, <laughs> it's just nice. Like, again, they've let you come over to their island. Like, you probably would want to do something nice for them. Um, but I think we do hope, I'm pretty sure. The turnip scene, what? It's true. Turnip scene is an accurate descriptor. <laughs> But yeah, I, I would never host a, a turnip ring again. That was quite stressful. But it was fun. <laughs> okay. So the first houses are gonna be over here. I don't know how big I want the yards to be. We'll have to see. Is this my farm? No, this is my, um, this is gonna be a neighborhood. Yeah, Hope, I took things down. Like, I really took things down. Big mistake. Filled with regret. Not gonna lie, but that's okay. I just heard Dan scream again. <laughs> this is gonna be my neighborhood. Okay, besties. Do I time travel? Yeah, when I want to. <laughs> um, like, I'm probably gonna time travel in a minute to make my museum get out of the way. Because I just moved it, but it's still up there. Um, Wendy, you once hosted a tournament ring to buy them from Daisy and you trapped her so that no one could reach her. And you had to have the guys leave and come back so you could move the fence? Oh no! <laughs> He's like, booty. Um, Brooke, thank you for the subs, everybody, too. That's so funny. The fact that you tried to like invite everyone over and then you just- Oh, sorry, you can't actually get to her. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Oh yeah, I've changed my um, my border and my alert color for Halloween. Our Halloween charity event starts on Sunday, so I'm ready. I prepared myself. Okay. I feel like there's not space for both the houses that I want. I might put, what's the date? My island thinks it's today. I haven't time traveled yet. Um, how many, that's one, two. I think there's just three here. No, oh, besties, I don't know how big I want their yards to be. I'm scared. I feel like I want to, um, I kind of want to like move a house in. So here's my problem. I think what I need to do is move this to be further up, but that also means that I need to move this bridge, which I really don't want to do. So do you see my problem? <laughs> um, but there's a lot of space back here. So like there's space to do it, but. Which island is this? This is my like main island, Bridget. This is the one I've been playing on since March of 2020. Move the bridge. Give them a wider yard than a longer one? Not really very easily. It's a bit skinny. <laughs> um, I can't because the beach is over there. Oh, I made her cry. I'm sorry. Don't move it. Don't move the bridge. Oh my god. Hope. <laughs> I need to break this thing too. Yeah, you just got the museum. What do you mean? I'm moving the museum away from there so that I can put houses there. Um, I 
your yards are wide and it's horrible to have so much space. Yeah, I want to give them like, I want to give them nice yards, but I don't know how big I want them to be. They're going to be skinny. It's, it's more so a question of, um, how, uh, long will they be? They have to be skinny. There's not a lot of space. <laughs> You're not going to do yards when you rebuild. Ugh, I know. I've seen so many people do it. Like, they just have them right on the edge. But I want to have a small yard. I don't know how to tell where halfway is. This is horrible. Okay, I know what to do. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna- Oh yeah, I always give them front yards, not backyards. Backyards are impossible. Um, they're gonna have front yards, but... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. 17. That is not helpful. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Is there a planner site you could use? No, I'm gonna wing it. I don't want one in the middle, I need two in the middle. So, we have to make it one down. That's okay, I can do terraforming again, it's fine. Didn't I use Photoshop? <laughs> yeah, I used Photoshop to plan parts of my other island, yeah. But that wasn't like specific, that was just a- I was drawing on a picture of the map. So I could figure it out. Um... Since Dan is British, does he drink tea? Sometimes. Yeah, we'll put eight spaces, eight fences, and then, um, two in the middle. Like I wanted. Oh my god, fail. Okay. <laughs> Is that too small? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Cool. What are you all typing numbers for? <laughs> Morgan, at least thank you for the subs, both of you. Is this mine or Dan's island? This is my island, plan, um, plane. I've been playing a lot on Dan's island, but we're playing on mine right now. They're counting with me. Yeah, but they're typing random numbers. These people can't be trusted. Okay. Now, did I do it right? Let's find out. to get rid of this first. Is this my actual island or my second island? This is my- the Switch I've been playing on since March of 2020. This is the one that I like, consider my like, main one. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, I'm tearing down a lot of it right now and redoing some things. This is- But this is the original. Okay, one, two, no, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> oh no, I also, oh wait, it's because I didn't move, oh, I didn't move this down like I was supposed to. I started from the bottom. Silly, 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 silly. I also put it in the wrong spot anyway. 
So that's embarrassing, but that's okay. That's okay. I actually like that I messed it up. Um, I'm really excited that I messed it up. Isn't that really nice that I messed up? Yeah. <laughs> Pain. Am I gonna buy the DLC? Oh yeah, for sure, Anna. Um, as soon as it comes out, I'm definitely gonna buy the Animal Crossing DLC. We're gonna be playing it on stream and stuff. Um, Kyla, Missy Ellie, um, across this, thank you for the sub and the sub gift. And Chaz, thank you for the eight months. Um, okay. Yeah, I love this fence. I think it's so cute inspired. I really like this one. This is like my favorite fence in the game, I think. Okay. There we go. That will be right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. Okay, it looks like pretzels to you. They do look a bit like pretzels. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disagree with you there. <laughs> I'm not gonna disagree with you. Um, yeah, you can change, supposedly we can change the colors of the fences with the update, yeah. Um, okay. I could go for a pretzel. I could go for a pretzel right about now too, yeah. I'm with you on that. Okay, these villagers are gonna have so much smaller yards than the villagers um, in the other part of the neighborhood. No, you had a giant pretzel last weekend, Christine? Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> okay. This'll be great. They deserve it. They deserve the smaller yards. What are you trying- you think my deserve- my villagers deserve small yards? Wow. That is rude. Put my least favorites there. Yeah, 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 okay. They don't pay rent. <laughs> okay. Yay. And then there will be another yard right here. Again, lots of terraforming to do. It's not enough space yet, but there will be enough space. Mark my words. Ran out. Oh yeah, I know, Hope. I'm sorry, that's so hard. I'm sure they'll do great. I'm sure they'll they'll absolutely love it so much. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is my um my regular island dream castle, yeah. Um the Pietro Island, if that helps. You know how people make those tier lists? You want to make a physical tier list for your villagers, where the ones you like the best are at the top! <laughs> Hello Claire, Delilah, your book, thank you all for the subs. I love that. No, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. I, I fully support that choice. The cats, Crow, the cats. Pile of leaves, oh, <gasps> yes. I've got two new DIYs today. That is big for me. No, not real babies, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. This will be good, eventually. It's just not done yet. Okay, I need to, um, I think ideally I'm gonna need to, Pashmina gets moved first because Pashmina is my least favorite. <laughs> so I can't do it, I have to time travel to tomorrow so I can do it, but I'm gonna need to like, 
make this all a little bit bigger. Mini Kate, my, this, my, my island is on right now. My island thinks it's today. It's not on a different day or anything. As far as my island is concerned, it is October 22nd. <laughs> um, I, I haven't like time traveled or anything right now. No, Hope, that's the problem. I don't like any of them. Do you think any of the new villagers are gonna be Uchi? Because I don't... <sighs> Pashmina is the only one that is acceptable, but she's also my least favorite villager on my island right now. So, what to do about that? Thought you liked her? I do like her, but if I'm gonna get rid of one of my villagers, it's not gonna be anyone else. <laughs> and I wanna get rid of one of my villagers so I can have one of the new villagers. Um, but anyway. What? Yeah, you can put the actual date back. But yeah, it's really easy. You literally just go into your system settings. System. Date and time, and then you can just mess with it to whatever you want, and then you can put it back if you want. It's really, it's not hard. <laughs> it's not gonna ruin anything. There's nothing wrong with, with uh, changing the date and time on your Switch, I promise. It's real simple. Okay, I wanna put a pink mum. I'm not getting rid of Pietro. You, how could you even say that to me? <laughs> I just start crying. <laughs> no, Pietro is not going anywhere. Ever. You can go back in time, yeah. If you want. Okay. That'll be cute eventually. I like it. is a disaster. <laughs> okay. I can build some more fences here. I can't build all the fences yet though because I don't have enough space. I guess I could build all the fences for one side. Are there consequences for changing the time and day? Um, yeah, the only thing is that if you have turnips um, and you go backwards, you can go forward but you can't go backwards. So if you have turnips and you go backwards, the turnips will spoil. Um, but that's the- so just don't do it if you have turnips. Basically. Um. And I guess if you go really far, like, weeds. Two. Three. But that's not that big of a deal. <laughs> um. Oops. Five. Oh, all my beautiful things are going away! I've ruined everything! Yeah, if you bury them, they'll still spoil. If you- if you go backwards, they will spoil, no matter what. Um... I forgot how many I had placed. It's like a little bit more than a square. I'm just gonna worry about it later once I have the thing- the museum out of the way. <laughs> I don't wanna worry about it right now. <laughs> um, I know- no, I haven't placed eight here. I know that these are eight. I haven't placed eight here though, besties. <laughs> Rob, Kaylee, Minnie, Mazzy, Volp, thank you, Smara, with the five, four gifted subs, and Rogue and Amy with the subs, everybody, thank you so much. Um, 55! <laughs> Why time travel though? Um, so for example, right now, I'm trying to decorate this whole area and I need the museum to be out of the way so that I can do it. Um, I've moved the museum to the beach, but it won't be on the beach until real time tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to tomorrow, switch my game so that my museum will be moved. Does that make sense? Um, or, like, for example, because Animal Crossing is real-time, maybe, um, there was a fishing tournament on Saturday, but you had to work all day on Saturday, so you didn't have time to play, and then you missed the fishing tournament. Does that mean that you should just have to miss the fishing tournament? 
No, I think that's dumb. So time travel back and play it on Sunday. <laughs> Make your game think it's Saturday and play it on Sunday when you're off. You know, like that kind of thing um, people time travel for, so. Or maybe like you only have time to play at night most days because you work all day. So you want your Switch to be earlier in the day. It's currently 4.51 p.m. for me, but I want it to be 12 p.m. Just change the date, the date and time. Because then you can actually play. <laughs> Um, you shouldn't have to miss things because, you know, your schedule doesn't work for Animal Crossing that well sometimes. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> it's your birthday, Gemily! Happy birthday! <laughs> Why don't you fit your entire life around Animal Crossing? That's a good question, honestly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you don't lose progress if you go too far back or anything. You can just go far, for, forward and back how you want. Don't worry about it. Do what you wish. <laughs> Kaylee, Rob, uh, Jess, thank you all for the subs. Rob, congrats. That's huge. Um, it's your birthday too, Karen? Oh my goodness. Uh... <laughs> um... Oh yeah, and sometimes you get roaches in your house if you time travel too much. Um, okay. Let's go. Why does it have to be so foggy? I'm trying to decorate! Yay, I have space now, see? See? Five, I think that's five. Six, seven, Eight. It was pouring rain on your island yesterday? That's kind of fun, Hope. I haven't seen that in a while either. Um. Okay. Do you hear Dan screaming? What is he screaming about? <laughs> Hi, Jess, by the way. Um. Also, Cindy, thank you for the bits. It was thunderstorming? Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, I don't think I- I don't know if I've ever seen a- wait, that's way too big. I don't know if I've seen a thunderstorm in my game. There was lightning? Yeah, he's playing Dead by Daylight Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know it stormed in Animal Crossing. Oh, really? Your book? That's so fun! Um, congratulations, you guys. That's really awesome. Whoops. You went back three hours so it would be light and it was storming? Oh my gosh, that's kind of fun. I'm glad you got to see that, Hope. That's actually really exciting. <laughs> it's like a fun surprise. Okay. We're doing all right. Well, except for the fact that I need to <laughs> move Pashmina's house, but that's okay. I can move Pashmina's house now. I might go do that now, now. Do I have enough money? Yes. I do. You thought I've never seen a storm in real life? Oh no, I've never seen a storm in Animal Crossing. I have, in fact, seen a storm or two in real life. I actually do live in Florida. Okay, I don't want any of these things. I wanted to check my shop, but I don't like her. Uh, yeah, I live in Florida, so. <laughs> I've seen my fair few of storms. <laughs> kind of cool, Colleen. Uh, Daisy, Cup Yellow, Cindy, and Trudy Stella. Thank you all for the subs. Are there storms in the Disney castle? Yeah, it actually storms inside the castle. Yeah. Rains indoors in there. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's get it. I need to move Pashmina's house. Thank you about layout changes. An island home. Pashmina is first. Yes. I need to do turnips this week. <laughs> I'm gonna need to do that very soon. I'm gonna mess with my houses first. 
Maybe we can get through all the houses today and then... I don't know. We'll see. But I think I have like 3 million bells left, which is... I used to have a lot more than that. So... <laughs> we have some work to do. I haven't done turnips in like a year, probably. So, I've been, uh, right Hope's playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> I've been using my, my one little set of bells that I, well, not little, I had a very large amount of bells, but now it's dwindling. And I only have three million left. <laughs> oh, sir, I have so many miles. On this Switch, I'm fine. I have so many miles on here. Um, I have, like, 200,000 Nook miles or something on here. It's the miles on Dan's Switch that I, I used up all of his miles. So I feel bad about that. How do I get so many bells? Turnips. And and going to people's islands when they have good turnip prices and stuff. But yeah, if you have Nintendo Online, um, go like getting a bunch of turnips and then making sure you find someone in like a Discord server somewhere that has a good price and lets you over to their island is a really good way to get money. You have 972 million? Yeah, that's the thing. Some people, like, really struggle for money in this game because they, like, never use turnips and they're, like, trying to actually play to get the money. <laughs> and then some people are like, I have five billion bells. <laughs> um, but, so you, you could, like, buy the turnips for a hundred and then sell them for, like, four, five, six hundred if you find someone good on a Discord server that lets you over to their island. So instead of, like, um, risking it and probably getting, like, max 200 bells per turnip, maybe, like, 150 if you're, I don't know, or losing money on them on your own island, if you sell them on someone else's island, you're pretty much guaranteed, um, a profit. So. Okay. Ooh, wrong place. You don't want to pay for Nintendo Online? Yeah, Steffi, I understand that. Um, if you play Animal Crossing a lot, truly, Nintendo Online is so much fun, though. Like, having access to being able to trade with people, like, and get everything <laughs> is so fun. Um, I really, really like having Nintendo Online. I hate to say it, but I, I find it's, it's very well worth it for the amount of fun that I get out of it. Um, I know it sucks to, like, pay more money to Nintendo because the game's so expensive already and like, the Switch is so expensive already, but honestly, it's fun. Yeah, but it's, like, $20 a year, and if you have friends that play Animal Crossing 2, you can see about getting a family plan and splitting it between you. Um, and you might be able to save some money that way, too. And that's obviously if you play Animal Crossing all the time, it might be worth it. Um, but if you don't, it's, it does add up, these sorts of things, you know. Um, the bottle is a recipe, Cyan. It's, uh, there's a, a new DIY in a bottle on your island every day. That's a ship in a bottle. That is a recipe in a bottle. <laughs> the ship in the bottle is, um, something I put there. <laughs> the recipe in the bottle is something that showed up. Are there games that require Nintendo Online to play? No, I don't think so. Um, I mean, there's a lot of games that, like, so, for example, maybe, like, Mario Kart. You can play, obviously, without Nintendo Online, but if you have a lot of friends other places, uh, you can play with them together on Mario Kart with Nintendo Online. So, like, the Nintendo Online just adds stuff to it, you know? Like, for example, I, um, back when Dan and I were long distance, you know, like, two months ago, uh, <laughs> we used to play Mario Kart together a lot. Like, me, Dan, and my brother would play Mario Kart together all the time. Like, all the time. Um, and we would use Nintendo Online to do it, obviously. Um, Splatoon is mostly online, but can you not play it at all without it? That's what I want to know. I never played Splatoon. But see, th here's the thing. I think people that are, um, this, their yards are so small. <laughs> I think for most of these people, um, that's not really a concern. Should I? Hang on, besties. To make their yards a little bit bigger, 
Should I do it like this and have it right up against the edge? Nope. Let me imagine it, please. Zoe, I can still see your sub badge. It might be like a temporary glitch. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it there like that. Do I want some royal crowns to sell? No, I'm okay. I'm actually kind of looking forward to the, um, the turnip game. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, but I do appreciate the offer. Okay. Um, sad cowboy emoji hide that you for the 24 months. Rach, honey bunny, Zoe, thank you all for the subs too, everyone. Um, okay. We will put some trees in each of their front yards and all sorts of things. It's gonna be so cute. I'm so excited. Look how adorable it's gonna be when I finish. No. Oh, her house is still there. So when I move their houses, um, her house isn't like gone. Her other, so right now Pashmina's house is still right here. And then there's like a new plot for where it's gonna be tomorrow, but her house is still there. It's not like gone yet or anything. Um, so don't worry. <laughs> I didn't completely ruin her life. She's gonna have a house. In a minute. Just not yet. Um, no, Kale, so the thing about turnips is that it's a gamble. So if you buy turnips, it'll be anywhere from like 90 to 120-ish bells per turnip, right? And then every day, look, I'll show you, I'll go talk to Timmy. Your nook's cranny in the morning and the afternoon will have a different price that they're offering to buy them back for. And so that might be like 30 bells or it might be like 200 bells. But the idea is that you wanna sell them when they're the highest. So right now they're 76. I would have spent more than 76 bells per turnip. I wouldn't want to sell it back to Tommy right now because that would lose me money. Um, so like it's kind of a gamble when you buy turnips that you're going to be able to sell them back for a high price. But if you have like Nintendo online and you go to someone else's island, like there's lots of like Discord servers that people post their turnip prices and they'll like invite you over to their island to come and sell there. Um, then you're like guaranteed to get a high price, like a high return. And it's not a, really a gamble because you have a chance to get it back. It is like the stock market. Yes, they call it the stock S-T-A-L-K market. <laughs> so that's how it works. It's kind of fun. It's a good quick way to make money if you do it that way too. Um, I don't have enough bells to demolish what I want to demolish. Really, Hope? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, I need to get um, some bells. It's mocking you, it is. Ah! Look at me. Only three million? How horrible. <laughs> Do you need to pay for Origin to play Sims? No. Origin is just, it's like Steam, it's just a game platform. It's just where you buy the sims from. <laughs> um, okay. About bridges inclines. Demolish something. How do you get so many nook miles? You play for a year and a half. This is the one I wish to demolish. Thank you. No, I clicked the wrong button! Stupid! <sighs> I need to try again. Oh my, Bex, thank you for the four months. <laughs> Demolish something. Come on. That one. Yes. Demolish. Okay, 
Yeah, Fleegs, you're gonna have to pay off your house loan to get the expanded storage. You're probably gonna have to pay off all your loans and then upgrade your house multiple times to get the complete expanded storage. My island flag? Yeah, it's this cow that I found on, um, the internet. So. <laughs> Um, I think I might go to tomorrow, besties. I think I might go to tomorrow so I can start moving stuff again. But yeah, I bet the extra storage will be really expensive. What's my town tune? I tried to make it never gonna give you up, but I don't think it's noticeable, nor do I care that much. When people ask me what it is, I usually ignore them because I don't know how to answer their question because I, I, I find it embarrassing, so, um... <laughs> that there's the situation what am i doing system date and time i scrolled way past it silly me it's a song <laughs> yep <laughs> yep can you hear it nope so Do I think the new OLED switch is worth it? I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> I, it's probably worth it for a select few. I think that for those of us that already have a switch, probably not, you know? Um, Marisa, thank you for the 12 month resub, by the way. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, I can show you my villager's fault, don't worry. But yeah, if you're buying a new switch, um, it's probably worth it. But, and if you only play in handheld, maybe it's worth it. But, um, I don't know. For me, I don't need that. So, <laughs> yeah, it's not worth, like, upgrading to, but if you're gonna get a new Switch, it might be worth. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know about the new one. Uh, but yeah, if you play it, if you play, like, Undocked a lot and you don't like the screen it comes with, I guess the newer one is better. Um, I don't know. I... I feel like for most of us here, it's probably not worth it. Like, I, and I don't mean this in like a we're not real gamers so we don't care kind of way, but I think it's similar in the sense that most of us probably won't buy the like Nintendo Online Plus or whatever. Like, <laughs> it's, it's not, it's probably not like for most of us, you know? Um, Especially not to upgrade, like, you don't need to buy a whole new Switch for it, so. Um. You only play Docked a couple times? See, I pretty much always play Docked, Ellie. So. Okay. Yeah, Helen, that's on- that's on your chat settings. Um, I don't have an auto sensor set- system set- set up or anything. I mean, I have, like, words can't get through to chat, but if you're seeing anything with like asterisks, like starring out words, um, that's not me, that's you. <laughs> in your chat settings, you can go in and turn off chat filters or turn on ch chat filters if you want. Um, but if it's ever like an asterisk that's uh, like starring out bad words, um, that's you guys, not, not, not me. Um. But yeah, everyone has, uh, different preferences for how they play. I mostly play docked because I, like, right now I'm playing docked because I'm streaming it, you know? So, like, a lot of the money that- or a lot, a lot of the money, what am I saying? A lot of the time! I saw someone said you need money to get bits and I read that and, like, <laughs> um, no, so you do need money to get bits, yes, Paige. But a lot of the time that I spend playing, I- I spend streaming. So, um, I play docked most of the time. Time is money, Simsy, exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, if you mostly play handheld, like, the Switch Lite is so much cheaper. So that's a thing to consider as well. Um, but, I don't know. Lifetune, honestly, I am not the person to ask about the island song business. I- I don't really remember anything about mine. 
Um, nor do I, uh, know much about the system, so <laughs> I am, like, so not the right person to ask questions about it, too. I have no idea the answers to your questions. <laughs> um. Yeah, I've been playing- I've actually been playing handheld a bunch, um, recently, because I've been, like, playing while I'm sitting downstairs with Dan, um, after I get off stream and stuff a little bit, so... Whereas most of the time, I used to only play docked, because I would mostly play, like, sitting here. Um, but I don't know, you kind of go through phases, right? Um. Oh, Jess, the storage sucks on all the switches. I, you, you basically have to get, um, a micro SD to put in it. Um, but yeah, you, like, it's, it's, you basically have to. <laughs> um. Otherwise, it's just, it's impossible. Um, why is there a sand pit on sand? Isn't that funny? But yeah, I have an SD card in mine too. <laughs> you pretty much have to get one. Especially if you're gonna get like digital versions of the games and stuff, like, these switches do not come with enough storage. I don't understand why. I don't know why they couldn't just give you more. It doesn't make any sense to me. It seems so stupid and cheap of them to not give you more storage on them by default. But whatever. Thanks, Nintendo. Stupid console costs $300 and you won't give me a little bit extra storage. Um, but for the price, they really should give you one, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, Shan, that is ridiculous. <sighs> hey, Squibbly, I always think the same thing. So, don't- listen. If you think mine makes you feel self-conscious, don't go watch any Animal Crossing YouTuber! Because <laughs> I feel like mine's bad. Or, or then some people tell me mine is good, and then I like see an island tour on YouTube and I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I thought mine was nice. It's not nice. It's no longer nice. I take it back. <laughs> um, well, Cloudy, I'm not arguing that the Switch is a, a bad console or worse than other consoles. I'm just saying that I wish it came with more storage. Um. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Yeah, Paranormal, I had a really hard time with the, um, the entrance on this island. I haven't tried to redo it at all yet. I probably will a little bit, but I'll, I'll show you in a second. The entrance on this island is really hard for me because my, um, my plaza is really close to it, and so I don't know how to do it because the plaza is like so nearby that I'm not really sure like where to put the... So I'll show you what I have for my entrance. It's covered in Nook Miles tickets right now, but I made like a little pond and then I basically did this and then had like a... Oh, hello. Um, but this is like all I have for my entrance really. Um, and I, I don't know. I kind of wish that I had... Um, Wait, who needs this gift? It's gonna say, won't it? For Pietro! <gasps> Yay! Okay, anyway, I- but the thing is, it's so annoying because it's like so close to the edge that I don't know what to do. So I've done it like this. We're probably gonna come revisit that, but... No, this is my island, not Dan's, Dr. Carrot. <laughs> I'm in the process of some renovations at the moment, so please excuse my appearance. Um, <laughs> please excuse how it looks. <laughs> okay, I'm coming in here to sell some stuff. Spicy Tuna, Janet, Spooky, Bex, Scooty, Marisa, thank you all for the subs and stuff, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, okay. Just gonna get rid of most of these flowers, please. 
please. Just so I have some more free space. Thank you. Oh, you can mix breeds, Mrs. in The Sims. Yeah, you can mix breeds. I'm pretty sure you can even breed large and small dogs together if you want in The Sims, but I could be wrong about that. Um, did I redo it? No, whip it. I have two switches. I've This is the switch that I've had since Animal Crossing, like since before Animal Crossing came out. This is the switch that I've been playing on like this whole time. This is my like original island. And then I bought an Animal Crossing switch when they restocked last year. So like October-ish of last year, I got an Animal Crossing Switch, so I have two Switches that I've been playing Animal Crossing on. So the other one is all green. This is the, like, main one, though. And the one that I want to redo and play on for when the update comes out. Um, okay. I'm gonna get some more money. Fifty thousand. Thank you. <laughs> Um, you can't- you can't delete it, but you can turn it off, Sophia. There's a setting in MC Command Center to completely turn off the monster under the bed. Um, so yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's talk infrastructure. I want to move, um, Camo Frog next. An island home. I think 60k miles is plenty for the update, Steffi. I think you should be fine. I think you'll be just fine. Okay, let's do it. What do I get a Judy dress like that? It's a custom design that I found online. Um, I'm dressed up like Judy. Do you like it? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Uh, Lynn, spicy tuna, thank you for the subs, by the way. You only have 10k? Yeah, I, um, I have a lot less on my- on Dan's Switch that I've been playing on recently because I spent them all, but on this one I've been playing since March of 2020 and I've barely spent any because I don't have to buy Nook Miles tickets with it, so. From May? Yeah, I've been wearing this Judy costume since May. I like it. I do like it, so. Okay, I'm coming this way because I wish to place Camo Frog right in the front where he belongs. Nope. Swap Elise with Judy? Oh, I don't actually want Judy. <laughs> I don't want Judy. Um, I also like Elise. I've I've always hated Elise because she was mean to me like a year ago. Um, and then we decided to take her in a villager hunt a while ago because I wanted her back. Part of me wanted her back a little bit. So now I have Elise back and it's kind of nice having an enemy again. So um, I'm going to keep her. I, I've sort of missed her, you know? No, you decided to keep her? Okay, well, yeah, I did. But it's nice to have an enemy on the island. It, something about it is, is comforting. So, I'm gonna keep her. Okay. This is horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. Stop! I can't even see what I'm placing! Oh! Oh my god, do you- No, wait, this is hilarious. Look at this, I'll show you. Do you see the little path behind that tree? I believe that is a wooden path. Do you know what that's from? That has been there since I made my rock garden. In July of 2020. This has been there. I never knew it was there because it was behind a tree. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Oh wait, that doesn't need to be there. I'll miss you, wooden path. 
It's been fun. It's historic at this point. It really is. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I finish this up. It's right up at the edge. Can I do a little island tour? Oh, bestie, my island is not so tourable at the moment. <laughs> my island's a mess. I feel like I, I um... No. <laughs> I've, I've moved everything around. I like there's nothing to tour because <laughs> I'm moving everything it's, I, it's not it's not good right now. I don't think I can show you Okay, I just moved camo frogs house That could be fun someday hope yeah, I like the idea of that um, potato, thank you for the seven months. I do have a dream address. Yeah, it's- it's from before I started tearing down this island, obviously. Um, so. Okay. I took- let's go put them back. Yeah, <laughs> rip the wooden path, I know. Sad. Very sad. What are dream addresses? So, Mickey, you can, like, visit other people's islands um, when they're not online, if you have Nintendo online, by typing in their dream address. And so it'll, like, the dream address will, like, take you to their island um, and let you tour, like, a saved version of it from a while ago, basically. Um, so you can see it. Okay. How long is this steak going to be for? Steak. Do you perhaps mean stream? Yes, okay. <laughs> I was like, hmm. Are you talking about my wooden steaks that I'm placing right now? What are we on about? Um, we have the dream address in chat. Yeah, Miss Chili. It's also pinned in the Discord on the dream addresses channel. Um, so if you miss it, it's pinned in the Dream Addresses channel on my Discord, but uh, it's right there for you if you want it. Oh, really? Hope? That's so fun. I am excited for you. Love watching a nice three-hour steak. Ew. Ew. <laughs> okay. The dimensions of a house in Animal Crossing. Four by three, maybe? How many islands do I have now? Only, only the, my two. I also have, I guess, access to Dan's, but this, by the way, is my, like, original main island. This isn't, like, a new one. By the way. <laughs> this is my original one. This is the island. Um, as some may say. The size of all buildings are pinned in the Discord. There you go. Player houses four by five. I think they mean the villager houses. Um, is it four by five? Maybe it's four by five. That's probably what you were talking about. Okay. Is this gonna go on the gallery four by four for the villager houses? Four by four for the villager houses. There you go. I am almost ready to put all my villagers back. We have slowly filled this up. How often is from Animal Crossing? At least once a week, Sloth, but recently I've been playing Animal Crossing a lot on stream. <laughs> Cause I'm so excited about the update. <laughs> so, we've been playing Animal Crossing very frequently, like, since it came out though. Um, okay. Place. I'm moving, um, yeah, actually, the answer to your question is yes, I am moving all of villagers' houses. I wasn't originally going to, but then, um, 
I decided to make a new neighborhood. And so first what I wanted to do was, I'll show you. So on the other side of the island, not where I am right now, but the other side, um, like over here by like Vlad's house and stuff, um, I wanted to scoot those over one tile. So yikes. <laughs> um, and now I've made this whole new neighborhood on top of it. So I, I really am going to end up moving all of their houses, I think. If not, that wasn't always the plan, but that is what's happening. So, oops. Okay, I can put this here now. No! Yay. Oh, uh, Hope, I think you should let Dom leave, yeah. I think you should do it, I'm so sorry. Oops, wrong one. I know this is hard for you. But I think it's time. I think I want a normal. <laughs> the phrasing of that always makes me laugh. Um, okay. You love Dom? I think Dom's cute too. Okay. Now... Next point of concern is that I need to make a new pathway all the way over to the um, secret. <laughs> all the way over to the secret. So we got to think about that. He will be in boxes tomorrow. <gasps> Hope you get to hunt though. That's fun. Who is Dom? Just a villager on Hope's Island. He's a little sheep. He is very cute. Okay. That is a Pietro plushie, yes. It was made by a viewer and sent to my P.O. box. <laughs> it is, in fact, my Pietro plushie. Thank you for asking. <laughs> oh, God. Everything is such a mess. Okay, so what I want to do, I think, is put a little dirt path like I've been doing. But this one will take you to the back over by the, the secret. Dom always has the zoomies. Dom is my worst enemy. <laughs> I love looking at, whenever a villager gets brought up, it always makes me laugh because people have such strong opinions about villagers and Animal Crossing. Like people have so much to say. <laughs> So one person will be like, oh my god, Dom is my favorite. Person below him is like, Dom is my enemy. <laughs> I hope he dies. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. I just love it. Am I gonna restart my island? <laughs> no. Not cut out for that. That's why I'm um, redecorating and not restarting. You just remove this path and paste it or replace it with the vanilla ones. Yeah, this path is like the path, isn't it? I um, I want to go for like a little farmy type vibe. This is like the path that everyone uses, but I'm I'm kind of going for like a slightly farm like vibe up here, and so I'm putting it. Um, I'll show you the area in front of my house and why I think it's useful for it. But I'm I haven't done like all of this yet, so ignore the mess. But I want this to be like kind of where my crops are for like the little farmy area. So, um, I picked the one, the one, that everyone uses. <laughs> so, don't mind me. I'm not gonna put it everywhere, though. Mostly just up here, in, like, the... I don't know. Farm space. How many hours have I been building this? You know, that is a good question. I haven't spent that much time, um, updating it, but... I mean, let me hide my dream address so I don't show it to you, but let me, let's check how many hours I have in this game on this Switch. I've played on this Switch 690 hours. Um, and I have also played on my other Switch a few hundred hours and on Dan's Switch. Not dream address, I meant my friend code, sorry, <laughs> I said dream address. I meant my friend code, you know what I mean. Um, 
I don't want to have to change my friend code again. I've leaked it before and then people keep adding me and I don't want to add strangers, so. Um. But yeah, I definitely have over a thousand hours in Animal Crossing. I don't know how many um, exactly because I haven't checked my other Switch, but I definitely have over a thousand hours in Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, really? <laughs> Fix the laundry? You're back? You're back? It's fine? Okay, I need to go make... There's a special signpost I want that I want to craft. Why does your Animal Crossing character say, where are my teeth in the dream version? Because, um, uh, I had that as my, like, thingy for a while after I got my wisdom teeth out, and now it's funny that it's been there for so long, and I haven't changed it. Okay, I need some more soft wood so I can make this. I think that's what I will do. Maybe I'll chop some more trees. But yeah, it still says, where are my teeth? So... <laughs> I set the dream address a long time ago. No! Fine. Fine. I'm not upset. You don't know what yours says? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not changing all the pathing. Just the pathing up here by the farm, Jen. Just up here by the farm. And I'm making another, like, walkway that takes you to the, um... A walkway that takes you over to where my... What's it called? Czar. My secret beach. I was ambushed by that sentence when I just wanted to see your island. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What am I doing? Stop going so slow. I just want my soft wood. Oh my god, I have so many clothes. Oh my god, I have so many clothes. This is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I have like one of every color of everything. Oh, <laughs> Genevieve, empathic. Thank you for the bits. Oh, you're making an all squirrel island. What should your first squirrel be? Oh my. Um. <sighs> Mint. Mint. Oh, don't even get me started right now on that. The angry emails from the anti-vaxxers. Lumpy Toast, there is this person um, that has been going on absolute anti-vax rants on Twitter. Um, and they have been attacking me <laughs> for pushing my agenda on my viewers about the vaccine. I'll keep pushing my agenda. Thank you very much, sir. Oh my God. Anyway, these people online, I swear, I just... <laughs> what do you mean there's... You can put it there. I know you can. Liar. Liar! Oh, that's perfect, actually. Anyway, I will continue to, to push my, my pro-vaccine agenda. <laughs> I won't be stopping anytime soon. Um, these people are just so foolish. <laughs> also, they were ranting, so I made a video, um, as part of my Strangerville Let's Play, like, two, almost three years ago. Keep in mind, pre-COVID. And the title was, Eliminate the Anti-Vaxxers. Um, Wanting a choice is foolish. Yeah, you are foolish, little stitches. Yeah, you can go away. I'm not talking to you about this right now. Um, anyway, I made a video called Eliminate the Anti-Vaxxers right now. Um, or two, like two, three years ago. About Strangerville. So this was like years ago when it came out. They were like posting screenshots of that video being like, look at her. <laughs> Bestie, that wasn't even about COVID. That was just about the vaccine. You are so angry for no reason. Anyway, I'm not going to get into this right now. Um, because I, I literally cannot deal with you people. The anti-vaxxers, if you're gonna come in my chat and be annoying and made my choice, shut up. 
Shut up. You're dumb. You're dumb. You're anti-science and you're dumb. My dad just had to start chemo again, like, this month. Um, and he is very extremely at risk of catching COVID and being very, very sick and God forbid something worse happening to him. You have come to the wrong place to be a stupid loser anti-vaxxer, okay? I don't want you here. You're not invited. Go away. <laughs> I will call you stupid to your face. I just, this is, you're at the wrong place to have this talk with me. And the wrong time as well, so. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Bye. Um, you guys don't understand. You you don't know the kind of things I have to see in my Twitch chat on a daily basis. I literally can't handle it anymore. Like I I'm at my wits end. <laughs> like I just I every day every day and then I talk about it and then it gets worse because I call them stupid and they get upset. But like. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Path's cute though, right? Yeah. Um, okay. I like my little dirt path that takes you to the beach that's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice secret beach we have here, shall we? <laughs> Cloudberry, thank you for the for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um <laughs> Um, and I'm sorry to those of you guys that are talking about your family members that are also at risk. I'm, I'm really sorry. And I'm sorry that these people are so selfish, but it's okay. I want to dig up these pink flowers, please. I feel like that's harsh to speak against all anti-vax people. You see, they come out the woodwork. How is it harsh? <laughs> you should see how they talk to me. I'm at my wit's end! Oh, God. <laughs> Wild West, Clumberry, thank you for the gifted subs. Cecilia, Baba, Kelly, Dash, thank you for the subs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I want to dig up a couple of these trees. Um, okay. All right. I just want them out of the way, you know? There are anti-vax freaks here, I can't see any. That's because they get banned real fast. Anyway, I just can't deal with it. I really can't deal with it, especially right now. Like, I always haven't been able to deal with it, but like, I just, <sighs> I don't know. You, you have to think about who you're talking to when you come here and say these things. My dad has cancer. My dad has a cancer that the treatment of directly makes him way more likely to get sick just from anything, let alone COVID, right? Think about who you're talking to when you come out with this stuff for one second. Like, remember where you are right now. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if I like it. I think I might put this like one tile below um, like, have the, even though it's not directly lined up with it, because that way, um, it won't be right up to the edge. Um, I like it. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I think this will be good. I want to put, um, a bunch more hedges up there too. Triple vax as of last week? Nice. <laughs> oh god, thank you for the bits. Um <laughs> you almost have your third booster booster man. Oh god, that's exciting. I'm glad. <laughs> I appreciate that this booster man thing has become a meme. Like, I really like that. <laughs> When my dad got his booster shot, he came into chat to to tell me that he had, um, like, they gave him the, the dose and he, like, had the booster shot. But to tell me, he came into chat and he just typed, Booster Man. <laughs> my dad just says the most cryptic things in my Twitch chat sometimes, and it's just so funny. Like, I love it. 
<laughs> Love you, Kayla. You can step on me on Twitter again anytime. Oh yeah, Sarah, I'm sorry. I real I told Sarah to shut up on Twitter the other day and it got like 600 likes. <laughs> I saw it and I, w I, w I was like, did I go too far? <laughs> did I go too far? I don't know. <laughs> Oh no, it has more than 600 likes. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, I told Sarah to shut up because she said, if you love him, set him free in response to my Pietro asking to leave. And I just said, shut up. And I was like, was that too harsh? <laughs> I mean, I was kidding, but I did I did think about it afterward. I was like, maybe that was mean. I didn't mean it to be mean, but <laughs> what if she thinks I'm mean? <laughs> to be fair, it was deserved. She told me to let Pietro leave my island. Can't have that. Oh no, I didn't say yes. He's not leaving, don't worry. I just cried about it and then made a tweet. <laughs> Pietro's not actually leaving though, don't worry. <laughs> Empathic, living with life. Um, Tommy, thank you all for the subs. And none of the sub gift, thanks everybody. Um, Yeah, empathic. People say some the darndest things. The darndest things. <sighs> Keep him forever and ever and ever. He's not allowed to leave. Okay, I'm gonna put something cute up here. I'm not sure what though. I wanna put a bunch of trees around. Can I put a tree here? Yes, I should be able to. Does he know the pain he put you through? I know! Think about everything we've been through because of Pietro. Can you believe he asked to leave? Unbelievable. Hang on. <sighs> They're still going. Oh my God. Oh, these people. The number of people I have to ban every day for this anti-vax stuff. I literally can't, I literally cannot believe you. I literally cannot believe you. I will not be respectful to people that are being, spreading lies about the vaccine in my Twitch chat. You're stupid. I can't, I'm not talking about this anymore. I can't, oh my God. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I, the <laughs> they come out of the woodwork, I swear. What, why? Deep breaths. <laughs> And then they just keep talking. No, don't worry. We don't need to put it on like a mode only mode. It's such a small minority of them. Um, it's no big deal. I just, it shocks me every time. Shocks me. Okay. I think I want to dig up this tree too. I want to make like more of an open space. I think. But I don't know what I'll put up here. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna go in the open space, but I'm gonna put something. Okay. <laughs> Ashley, girls rock. Bye Enigma, thank you all for the subs too. Um, okay. Yeah, Jordan, I don't, I, <laughs> it's fine. I just, <sighs> it's one of those things. Look at your The Path, it looks so nice. <laughs> Thank you, I like it too. <laughs> yeah, I wanna make a carnival space on the beach. My idea is to make a sort of like, um, it's, it, my idea is to sort of make like a um, boardwalk carnival space on the beach for Pietro, um, kind of by where his house is gonna be. So I'm gonna put Pietro's house, I'll show you on the map. Um, right now, where Whitney's house is, so where I'm on the map right now, is where I'm gonna switch Pietro's house to be. And there's gonna be like a boardwalk space on the beach down there, that's gonna be Pietro's little carnival. That's my idea. Oh, you're fine, Galaxy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, you didn't join at the wrong moment. <laughs> it's no big deal, just. <laughs> It happens around here, you know. Um, okay. I'm gonna put this. 
I am dressing up for Halloween, Sarah. I'm gonna use a couple of my costumes. <laughs> I have a couple costumes that I intend to whip out for Halloween. Um, so it should be fun. I I finished and like posted my schedule for my charity event next week. Um, so it's now all posted and like ready. And I'm really excited. So. <laughs> Um, are we doing a couple costume? Oh no. I mean, I'm streaming for 12 hours on Halloween from noon to midnight, so there's not much time for a, <laughs> for a couple costume. Um, uh, but the crab costume, the weenie suit, I mean, we're breaking out the big guns. So. I like the idea of this area being very, like, overgrown, I guess, with the trees. I don't know. You get it, though. You understand. Yeah, I'm gonna stream for 12 hours on Halloween. <laughs> um, we'll see how that goes. It'll be fun. Um, It'll be fun. Well, that's the thing. No, no plans on Halloween? Hang out here. We usually stream on New Year's Eve too. It's great fun. <laughs> Who needs plans when you can watch a sim stream? Okay. Take. You get the head recipe from, um, oh, that tree's in the right spot. You get the head recipe from Leaf, um, I think after you've bought stuff from him, right? Or from, you gotta buy stuff from Leaf and then you'll get the head recipe. I have plans for once in my life. Oh, I'm glad, that's gonna be fun. That's exciting. Um, your TA canceled your 8 a.m. after you had already left the house. Oh, that's so annoying. When you get up early and leave for an 8 a.m. class, only for it to be canceled after you already left. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's like truly infuriating. <laughs> that is the worst. I am so sorry. Okay. I just put one tree in this yard. Um, that should be fine. It's not a new island, Trash Panda. This is my, like, OG island, the one I've been playing on since the game first came out last year. I'm redoing a lot of it, kind of to prepare for the update. I want it to be more of, like, a farm vibe. So, that's my plan. That is my plan. Yeah, don't know what's gonna go over here. We'll have to think about that. And then... I want to cover up a lot of trees back here, make like basically a little forest behind the houses. Um, oh, I didn't know I had this trash can right here. That's useful. <laughs> Liv, thank you for the, for the resub too. Um, oh, don't even need to throw anything out. I'll put it in somebody's yard. Yeah, this game came out in uh, March of 2020. It is one of those things where it does feel like it's been out for longer than that, but I think that's a, that is a COVID effect. <laughs> you know, I feel like that's one of those, um, things that COVID has done. <laughs> it's made it feel like it's been longer. Okay, I'm gonna put some, um, cliff back here, I think. Fake cliff. It really did come out at the perfect time. This game was like exactly what people needed. It worked out so well for the developers of this. Like this game came out at the most ideal time. It could not have gone better for them because everybody was like quarantining and wanting something to do. So switches were like permanently out of stock for like months. Animal Crossing was the biggest obsession. Like this game worked out so well for Nintendo. <laughs> um. Truly, like, it, it really worked out for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, really, Jen? That's so fun. Say hi to him for me. Um, one time you didn't want to park in your parking lot at your university because it was far and you didn't feel like walking, so you paid to park in a garage that was close to your class, and then just after you swiped your card, got a text that class was canceled. That is the most typical thing. I am so sorry. Like, just of course that happened. Of course. Because why wouldn't it happen that day, the one day that you don't want it to happen? Of course it happened that day. <laughs> just always does that, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, that hurts. <sighs> uh, that is a no bones day if I ever heard of one. <laughs> You went to your 8 a.m. statistic lecture with one and a half hours travel time, only to find out it was online last week. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't blame you for crying. I, you are so valid in crying over that. <laughs> you woke up so early. Aw, oh, thanks, Vaughn. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, you are very kind. <laughs> oh my god, I'm failing to put these where I want them to be. Can you tell? I just want to put, like, a cliff back here behind the houses so I have something more interesting going on. Okay. Square Online, thank you for the nine months. I might have to move that tree. I'm just gonna chop it. I can't chop it. <laughs> I don't have anything to chop it or dig it up. <laughs> Dang it! Well, besties, it seems that I may. Good job, idiot! Whoa, Tori! That was mean. I've never called you an idiot recently. <laughs> Emphasis on the recently. <laughs> Who is Tori? Tori's one of my mods. Um, it's mandatory in the chat is her username. <laughs> Will it let me put the house here with the bush that close to it? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. It'll be fun. Me, I'm the mean one? That is Tori, the mean one, yeah. Okay. Oops. Oops. Yeah, I have to give Pietro his gift still, I know. Don't worry. I've just been up here, so I haven't seen him. I have to, like, walk down there and, and look for him, <laughs> basically. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be cute when it's done. I'm kind of excited about it. I mean, you gotta figure out the pathway all down here for the museum, too, but... That's a problem for another time. <laughs> the only people who are allowed to be mean to Lil Cinzy are her Twitch mods. I think that's how it works. Okay, this isn't gonna stay here, by the way. That's just where it used to be, and then I expanded it, so <laughs> it looks like that now. Oh! So cute! <laughs> so cute! Okay, I'm looking for Pietro. I think he's in his house. Big moment. Okay. Hello, my friend. My beautiful little friend. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday, Drew! Hope you're having a good day. Oh my, did you hear Dan just scream no? 
kid smock. You don't have a sheep anymore? Well, looks like you gotta get a clown sheep, Hope. I think you should look for him. I think you should get Pietro. Oh, uh, my island is a mess. <laughs> I'm so stressed. Look at everything that I've got everywhere. It's a disaster. Dan's game isn't going too well. Yeah, clearly not. I don't think Dan's having the best time in Dead by Daylight right now. Just just a guess based on what I'm hearing. But, um... Doesn't seem to be going very well. What am I changing? Oh, boy. So much. Okay, so my museum's gonna be over here. And there's a couple things I want to do. I want to have a, um... A dinosaur statue. Well, it, would, it wouldn't be a statue, would it? It would be actual real-life dinosaur bones. But I want to get a dinosaur to put in front of the museum. Stone wall. Um, so I intend to do that. I want there to be, like, a fountain. And maybe some flower gardens. You just sold your complete extra T-Rex you had in front of your museum. You had a complete extra T-Rex in front of your museum, Hope, and you sold it? Right when I need an extra T-Rex, Hope, and you sold it? And you sold yours last night, Christine? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! You're gonna put art in front now? Yeah, well, I saw this thing that I thought was so cute, and I'm probably gonna do it, like, over here, in, uh, where, where, um, this house is right now. This person made, like, a little cafe area, and they had a lot of art around it, kind of like artists had been there. <laughs> so I kind of want to do something like that. Should have mentioned it in the Discord, you fool. I know, but I didn't, so... Now what, Tori? Now what? Anyway, I don't need it yet. <laughs> but, um, I will eternally be angry at Hope for this. She didn't know, but she should have just known. Hope should have just, just thought ahead and known that I would need it. Thank you, I should have known, exactly. Real Simsy mods read her mind. Exactly. See, you get it. Finally, some people around here that understand. <laughs> fire Hope? No, I can't fire Hope. I need her. She does my captions. <laughs> I can't. I can't get rid of her. That, that is a trusted member of, um, Lil Simsy Incorporated. <laughs> Okay, I need to go and throw away some things. I want a t-shirt! <laughs> some employee t-shirts for Hope and my unpaid editor. <laughs> Dan's, Dan doesn't get paid anymore, by the way. He's just stuck with me. As a family business these days. <laughs> so... He's just volunteering. <laughs> okay, this is where my museum's gonna go, by the way. Right here. I'm not sure where exactly it's gonna go. Like, um, how far forward or where centered it will be. I don't know. I need to, like, clear out a lot of this area so that I can see it better. But... That is my plan. And then this is where the, um, staircase will be. So I should probably build that today. Can we keep the flamingo? Yeah, how about instead of the museum right here, I build a flamingo. Thoughts? Um, it's more so, Avery, because we're married now. <laughs> uh, 
Um, it's it is a bit counterintuitive. I mean, I I don't I don't see why I would. What, what am I gonna do? Pay him into my bank account? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if we're sharing money, like we're just the. Um. <laughs> yeah. So. I I take out some cash. And then I put it in my wallet. <laughs> okay, I need to move or, or get the bridge now or the stairs, I mean. I think I'm gonna get actual stairs, like a stone staircase this time. So that is my plan, please. I want stairs, please. Well, Kel, I actually announced it long before yesterday on stream. We talk about it a lot on stream. Um, I haven't really posted about it because I don't want attention. <laughs> um, but obviously Dan came here on a fiance visa. With, you know, 90 day fiance. <laughs> Something's in my eye. Okay. I would like to build- No, not a bridge! Not a bridge! I meant to click incline. Oh. Let's talk infrastructure. I would like to build an incline. Let's make an incline. I think I want to use the stone staircase because it'll match my paths. Yeah, Sarah, <laughs> like, in, um, in August. <laughs> I want it, so, I'll tell you the story. I didn't want to talk about it a ton, um, right away on the internet, um, because I sort of wanted, like, to exist as a human in my own, um, so, <laughs> um, that, that is, uh, why I didn't really talk about it right away, and I still haven't posted about it because I don't know how I, would, I don't know what I want to post, and I also don't want attention, so that's the situation at hand. Confirm. Okay. I'm ready. Just never talk about it, we have to acknowledge it. No, we can acknowledge it, it's not like it's a secret. I just didn't want to announce it because I didn't want attention for it. <laughs> I'm going to, don't worry. I just haven't yet, because I didn't want attention. You get it. You get it, right? No! Let me imagine it. Your birthday is the 25th of August, so it would be fun if you got married that day. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay. I think I like that there. I'm not so sure about this river. I might need to, um... First guess, honestly. Yeah, that's impressive. Okay. Did you just hear him scream? Did you hear that? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Hi, little Dika, by the way. I'm Blastoise Squared. Thank you all for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm digging this up because I want to be able to see the river behind it. Oh, that's why I couldn't I see I see A very interesting scream Dan. Yeah, I don't know about that one <laughs> Yeah, I know, the difference between our streams right now, like, the way that I'm just hanging out in Animal Crossing, you know, just, just hanging out, 
very casual, we're relaxed, and Dan is literally screaming and playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> no! Okay. I'm gonna... Um... No! No! Oh my god. He's just casually being murdered as we speak in Dead by Daylight, yeah. Okay, I'm okay with that, that's fine. I just wanted a little bit more space in front of the, um, the stairs, so. That works for me. And then this, this will be a little bit smaller. I'm gonna have some little like market stalls and stuff around here, I think. Um, what's Dan's Twitch name? It's Duck Dan Lemon. Um, but anyway, are you guys looking forward to the, to the Animal Crossing update? <laughs> um, I was, so, okay, so the update is actually like the date they have given us. They say the update's on the 5th, right? Um, but because, uh, it's, it's going to be the fifth in Japan, like usually when they say the update's coming out, it comes out in the morning in Japan, which is the night before for us, right? So it comes out the morning of the fifth. I would assume this, I'm just guessing based on the past ones, but you would assume it comes out the morning of the fifth, except for us, that's the night of the fourth. So, um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm probably gonna stream that night. But yeah, it's, it's, they haven't, like, actually said that. Like, I don't think they've said of time yet, but, um, based on the past ones, I would assume. <laughs> and I, I think it's a safe assumption based on the past ones as well. So, big stuff, everybody, big stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put a pink flower right here. Um... Sad? I know it's the after dark. Sad? Sad? Oh, I'll be getting the DLC for sure, yeah. Um, 100%. Without a doubt, I will be getting the DLC. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know what that'll be in Australia. I don't know. <laughs> for you, I don't know. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm the wrong person to ask about that. <laughs> um, okay. In Australia, we are one hour ahead of Japan. Okay, so for you guys, it'll actually be the fifth. Sorry, besties. <laughs> um, okay. But I don't know, I don't know what the time, I don't know what the time zone is. <laughs> Believe it or not, I am not very familiar with the time zones in uh, Australia or Japan, so. <laughs> Simsy in the morning is Sim, and Simsy after dark is sad. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's disappointing. I should memorize every time zone ever. You're right. I'm so sorry. You're absolutely right. My two moods, Sim and sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We've cleared a lot of it up, everyone. This is big. Well, actually, I think this is gonna need to stay here, probably. This might be the path to my gardens or something. I don't know. We'll see. I might leave this, though, and have a path up the middle instead. I'm not sure. It'll be easier to visualize once um, Camel Frog's house is out of the way. <laughs> so don't worry, everyone. It'll be way easier to tell once it's gone. Do not fret. Oh, Hope, are you on right now? 
Do you want some blue roses? I meant to, I was gonna see if you wanted them last night and then I forgot and didn't play much last night. Do you want some blue roses right now if you're on? I can bring you some. Let's me show you my collection. I currently have, okay, so I have eight. Do you want them now? I can bring some. How many do you need? You only need one? Oh, do you want two? <laughs> or do you actually only need one? Oh wait, you're only doing one of each flower, aren't you? Hope, can I come to your island? Can I come to your island and see what you've done to destroy it? Hope, can I come over with this blue rose to see what you did? Hope. Hope, can I show everyone on stream? Show us your destroyed island that you're tearing down. Come on. No, you don't have to. I'll just leave the blue rose. Do you want to come over here instead? <laughs> I can open my gates to friends and you can come over. <laughs> you can open your gate. Never mind. Never mind. Hope's opening her gates. I'm coming over. Yes. Cassidy, Junimo, Marissa, thank you for the bits and subs, everybody. Yes. Okay, let me dig up my blue rose. I'm in rain gear. Don't be mean. It was raining. <laughs> it's okay. I wear rain gear a lot when I'm on my island and people are always like, why are you wearing that? Even though it was raining and it's reasonable. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. Oh, Hope, I have lots of purple pansies. Um. I'll wait. You like the orange border on my face cam? Yeah, Ellie, I switched it to orange. The alerts are um, orange and purple as well. I can replay one so you can see them. Look, the alerts are, or are orange and purple. It's kind of hard to see that against this um, horrible game background, but the alerts are orange and purple for Halloween. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did, well, I did it for Halloween last year, Bruin. And that was the last time. This is the same as I had for Halloween last year. Um, search for a friend. What if Hope unfriended me? Then what? She didn't. Your parents changed their doorbell to a spooky doorbell sound? Oh, that's cool. My, um, a lot of my neighbors have changed their porch lights to be, like, flickery ones or, like, orange ones, um, and stuff like that, and I think it's quite fun. <laughs> I love that about it. Um, I like walking around and looking at people's Halloween decorations. I find it exciting. Um... I didn't really think about the fact that you could change your doorbell noise. I, mean, I can't change my doorbell noise. <laughs> Mine's broken. It makes no noise. <laughs> um, so you can't change a doorbell that doesn't work, can you? No. <laughs> but um, that's cool. I like the concept. Yours is broken too? Nice! <laughs> that's spooky in a way. Yeah. Hope's island was cute before she wrecked it, but Hope's is like mine, destroyed right now. So there's no judgment here. This is a judgment-free zone, Hope, don't worry. Nothing to say, because mine is also not good. <laughs> Can't change a doorbell I never had. That, well, yeah. Yours is trashed you right now, it's all good. I think many of us have trashed our islands right now to get ready for the update. <laughs> I think I think a lot of us are in the same boat. Kirsten, thank you for the five month reset, by the way. Okay.
Here you go. Thanks. Well, wait. I'll leave, I swear, but first. Oh, <gasps> fancy. Oh, very exciting. I like how the river looks up top. I wonder what she's gonna do with it. Okay, sorry, I'll stop staring. No spoilers. Gotta go. <laughs> I won't expose hope for <laughs> her island. Um, you're gonna destroy that? Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I like this. Hope's like, it's going. I'm killing it. Dan just closed his door. Maybe he let the cat in or out. Oh yeah, no worries, Hope. I have lots of extra blue ones. Spread it around, you know? <laughs> uh, Scott, thank you for the prime sub, too. Um, uh, Ashley, people are destroying their islands because they're gonna add- I think a lot of people are just excited because they're, like, picking the game up again, so they're trying to redo stuff just for fun. But also, they're adding, like, the ability to farm and, like, grow a bunch of plants, which a lot of people are excited about, so they're trying to make space for that. Um, and there's also like a bunch of new villagers being added. So I think people are excited about that and trying to make space for those. Um, like, well, I guess to like, I don't know, redo people's yards or whatever. People are just, ex I think people in general are just excited again to play. So a lot of people are just starting over and stuff. Um, so. Yeah, so like Hope said, she got bored, like she stopped playing a while ago because she got, sort of got bored of her island. So starting over with it, is kind of like getting back into it for her, you know? Um, it's not destroyed. My island is just in a state of flux. You know, there that is a good way to describe it. Oh my God, I have a funny story. Speaking of flux, <laughs> my family makes fun of my sister for this all the time. It's not her fault because she was a child, but this is hilarious. You're gonna like this story. So my sister, a long time ago, um, when she was like in elementary school, like third grade or something maybe, um, she hurt her hand and like had to go to the doctor and all this. Um, or maybe she was, maybe she was faking it and that's why my dad lied to her. I don't know. Either way, Shanna like pretended to hurt her hand or she kind of hurt her hand. Not bad, she was fine. And my dad told her as a joke that she fluxed her capacitor. <laughs> And her, being in third grade, I guess didn't realize it was a joke, obviously. Um, so she went to school the next day, and she's like telling everybody, Oh, I fluxed my capacitor. She tells the teacher, Oh, I fluxed my capacitor. That's what happened in my hand, is I fluxed my capacitor. And my family talks about this all the time, because the teacher like called my parents, and they were like, he was like, You will not believe what Shanna said to me today. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just going around telling everybody this. Oh, I think that's so funny. <laughs> um, she for Oblivion, thank you for the sub gift to Lumpy Toast, by the way. Um, are all dads the same? <laughs> Clearly. No, but it made me laugh and I thought you would like it too. <laughs> but we still talk about it. <laughs> I mean, of course we do, right? But it's funny. Okay. Stone staircase. Here you go. You can have all of it. Your dad would say that? Yeah. <laughs> it's a very dad thing to do. <laughs> okay. I fixed it. Paid for. Brahmian, thank you for the five gifted sub as well. Thank you so much. I said sub, singular. For the five gifted sub. <laughs> okay, I might go to tomorrow so I can get Camo Frog's house out of the way and I can figure out the museum. Let's do it. Okay. And then we need to figure out how I'm going to get a dinosaur. So we'll think that one through. <laughs> okay, system, date and time, go to the next day. Oh my goodness, Acrosis, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. What the heck? <laughs> I should do the long neck boy so you can walk under it. Oh, that's cool. How can I, how do you think I could get one? Nook is on. I want, I want fossils. I 
I have lots of Nook Miles tickets. Maybe I could give people Nook Miles tickets for them. Can I not trade with people for them, Hope? Like, couldn't they bring them to me? I think that's what I need to do. I'm looking at... Hmm. Hmm. Nook is on scam time? I don't know. I'm not gonna do it yet. I need to figure out where I want to put it first, and then I'll think about it. I will think about it. Um. Oh, God, thank you for the bits. Um. Wait, <laughs> one time when you were little, you announced very loudly in a supermarket, I want to be a fire starter like daddy because he used to let you scrunch up newspaper to put in your open log fireplace in the winter. Oh, so you told people you want to start fires in public? <laughs> Kids are so funny. They like, obviously they have no idea. So they just say anything, but you just announced loudly in the grocery store. I want to start a fire. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Probably thank you for the sub gift again, too. Um, but yeah, where do I get my Nook Miles tickets from? Where do I get my Nook Miles tickets from? Now, that's an interesting question. You see, because the Animal Crossing black market is the answer. All right. Who do you think it's going to be? I'm very excited. Hmm. Hello, Teddy. You're actually quite cute. Oh, Deb, I'm not sure which one I want yet. That's the thing. I really appreciate the offer, but I need to... Th I, oh, what dinosaur should I put in front of my museum? Because I want. I feel like I want to look at a list of the fossils that we have in this game. May I go into my museum and look around? <laughs> Maybe I'll go into my museum and pick. Let's go on a trip. I found all of them. I just don't have like a lot of extra saved, you know? So let's go look in the museum and find out who the cutest one is. I'm gonna move these two houses, by the way. It's quite sad. So there's gonna be some empty space over there. Who knows what we're gonna do with it. <laughs> Across this thing, you the 10 gifted subs again. What the heck? Thank you so much. A Diplo is like six pieces long. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm gonna have space for that. Really, Princess Mia? That's funny. Um, Siren, thank you for the 23 months. Um, and Sin, thank you for the for the sub Prime sub. Simsley with the bits. Um, <laughs> when I was very little, my older brother made me believe that all babies were born green. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. There you go, Wellpup. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, really, Kat? That's funny, too. Um... Okay, see, this one would be so fun. Do you see what I mean? But is that too big? Dinosaur names are scary. I don't want to say the names out loud and embarrass myself in front of the dinosaur people. I could get a small one, though. Like, we could use... No, not you. The Triceratops. <laughs> and right, thank you for the prime sub, by the way. Um, I don't know. The Diplo is so long, yeah. But the Triceratops maybe is more, more my size. <laughs> I don't know. They're all cute? Well... <laughs> I also like that one. The Stegosaurus is cute. I kind of like it. I think what I'll do is not do it yet. I think I'll figure out how much space I have, and then we'll decide on the dinosaur later. Right? Like, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, like, pick it now, because... Um... Sorry, I just... I open... I, there's... My dad... <laughs> my dad just sold his car. <laughs> I see a text in the group chat. My dad says he's selling the car. What? <laughs> I don't know. My dad, I think he's been thinking about it for a while. I didn't know he was actually going to do it like right now though. <laughs> All of a sudden, whatever. 
Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, see, thank you for the bits too, by the way. Um, selling the car, buying a dinosaur. That's what's happening, actually, yeah. <laughs> My museum's on the beach right now because I am moving it somewhere else. I, I had it previously up high. Um, and houses over here, but I'm switching the museum and the houses, so I had to move the museum out of the way so I could put the houses where it was before, um, so that the houses would be out of the way so I could put the museum over here. <laughs> um, but I had to move it to the beach so I could move it over here now. You know? Thought I said stole a car at first. No, my dad actually did not steal a car. Really, Hitch? That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, hi, Dad. How are you? Spindrift, thank you for the 10 month resub, too. Okay. How much space do I have in my inventory? Enough to dig up this stuff. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello, Shanna. What? Why is everyone here? <laughs> Why are you and Dad both here, Shanna? Are you up to no good? Oh, you've been here longer, you just didn't say anything. Okay. I was gonna say, <laughs> why did you both come here at the same time? What are you doing? But it's fine. False alarm. <laughs> Sorry to assume the worst of you, Shanna. Um, <laughs> feel bad for that, but it's reasonable. You have a complete Stegosaurus fossil? Oh, Celesto, I might take you up on that. Let me, let me, like, lay out this area first so I can see, like, what would fit. And then I'll... We'll talk. <laughs> I, I would appreciate that. Um, okay. So... Let us think this through, my friends. Let us think this through. I think what I want to do is get rid of a lot of this. The next sim stream? We're gonna do a very long sim stream. I'm gonna be live from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Sunday overhead. So the answer to your question is Sunday. <laughs> the first day of our charity event. No, my siblings and parents don't play Animal Crossing. I think Shanna would like Animal Crossing, and she does have access to a Switch at home. Um, I think I think that she'd really like Animal Crossing, although I don't think she's actually played it. Um, okay. So, I feel like I need to look up some, like... I want to see what other people have done with their museums. I need some like inspo. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I want I want to see what other people have done so I can um, take inspiration from. I want mine to be like. See, these are like real fancy. Mine's not gonna be like that. Um. Let me just open up. Oh my goodness, this is nice. See, I want a cool dinosaur. And I want Marina to look at it. One thing I do like the idea of doing as well is putting um, custom borders on my paths like this has. I've seen a lot of people do that and I think it looks really nice. So I might add that <laughs> to my path. Might regret that one, but we'll see how it goes. I was thinking about doing something kind of like this with the square and the the um, fountain because I already had something like that originally. So I was thinking about doing that again, um, and then also having obviously the um, you know museum. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's fine. Um, Oh, I mean having the- the dinosaur. I'm not talking- I'm not- the words I'm saying don't make any sense right now. 
You have the exact path border, really? Um, I'm gonna need a different one, obviously, because it would have to work on this stone path, but... I like it. Am I getting the DLC on all switches? Well, I'm gonna want to play on it on all switches. I'm only gonna buy it on this one, though, for now, because this is the one that I'm mostly gonna play on it with right now, but we'll probably eventually use it on um, my green switch, too. Okay. Yeah, there's gonna be borders for that stone path, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's gonna be borders for, like, all the paths, I assume. People will have lots of them around the place. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared to start. <laughs> okay, I need to go, um, I'm gonna go move the museum. I'll go get my thingy so I can look at it. Have a good night, Oblivion. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later. Ugh. Zebra, thank you for the 18 months. Uh, John with the 14 months. Mello and C, thank you for the bits, everybody, too. Um... I would keep it too wide, Mrs. Pew Pew, probably. It's too wide pretty much everywhere, so I'd, I'd probably want to keep it that way. Um, I want layout changes. I'm gonna open my door really fast, hang on. Just in case. I feel like my cat, um, I think Snap is in Dan's room right now, so. When she finally wants to leave, um, I'm ready. Birthday song, please? Is it your birthday, Yellow? Happy birthday. <laughs> no, Levi, I also planned out my island on paper when I got my new Switch, like last year. I also planned it out on paper. Oh, I have one cat over at Hawk. Well, um, my parents also have two cats that I would consider my cats, but I only live with one cat here. So like, I have three cats, but here I have one cat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Cause two of them are my parents' house. <laughs> um, so I would I would consider those my cats as well, but um, just, just one lives here with me. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Three cats, but only one is a roommate, yes. <laughs> But yeah, I like to I like to plan out stuff, so I wouldn't blame you for planning out your um thing on paper. That's cool. Okay. I think I want the museum to be like How many tiles is the museum, besties? Can I can I draw a fake one so I can Plan it first. Does anyone know? Seven wide? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which way do I want the other side? I should put it over there. Seven wide, four deep. I feel like this is fine. It being like this. Should I put it right up against the cliff? I think so. So we could do the museum like back here. And then... We'll have to lay out everything else too. Oh, this is gonna be quite the process, my friends. <laughs> This is gonna be quite the process. That's okay. Um, then as far as the pathways go... I think I will do it... Like this. Yeah, once we lay this out, it's gonna be way easier to tell what we want. So I like this plan. This is my Switch Selfie Queen, yeah, this is the Switch that I've been playing on, um, like, my actual Switch that I've had since before the game came out, you know? Um... I need to dig that up. Oh, such a mess in my inventory. 
Um, I think the builders' houses are four by four shops. Shops. I'm pretty sure from what people have said to me earlier, but I could be wrong. They are four by four. Okay, good. Am I changing my layout? Yeah. <laughs> Help! It's a made. I made a big mistake. But yes, I am changing my layout. <laughs> okay. Um. I should go get the fountain so I can see how big it needs to be over here. I'm going back to my house. Don't mind me. Thank you. Don't mind me. I'm pretty sure it's in my house. Okay. Um, Anonymous Sponges, thank you for the sub gift. <laughs> and Alex, thank you for the tier two 12 months. Megan, thank you for the sub gift. Thanks everybody. Um, no, I don't have Judy. I'm Judy. Here, maybe I'll use this before I- <laughs> I have a throwback dino screen. Maybe I'll use my throwback dino screen before I get my actual dinosaur. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, nice work, everybody. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> What's better than having Judy? Being her. Yeah, exactly. You get it. Okay, what did I come here for? <laughs> Anybody remember? Um, oh, my fountain. There you go. Great. <laughs> Michelle, thank you for the two months. No, you can't get Animal Crossing on PS4, unfortunately. Um, this is a Switch game only. I wish it wasn't, but Nintendo is kind of weird about their games. They only, they're like only for Nintendo consoles. So. What if there was a dinosaur villager? There kind of is. Um, well, it's a dragon, but <laughs> Drago is, is kind of a dinosaur. The Stegosaurus is six by two, okay. Okay. Interesting. Maybe I could put the... Hmm. Let me place this. No, wrong thing. <laughs> Let me put that up here though, because I do actually want that here. It makes me laugh. This is for the museum, so. Okay. So, I want to place the fountain. No! Wait, I need to place a flower here so I can- or I guess I'm gonna put hedges there. Let me put the hedges so I can make sure it fits properly. Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure, like, how close up it needed to be to the, um, fountain. But the answer is this close up. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out now. Don't mind me. I think I might use this fancier tile path under the fountain. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be really nice. I promise. I just have to get there first. <laughs> Louise, thank you for the sub gift. Um, just got back into Animal Crossing. Was a good place to find custom patterns. You know, I always wonder this too. Sometimes I just search them in game. Other times I look like my Discord server has a custom designs channel and people post stuff in there a lot. Um, but I always think about that too. I really don't know what the best place to find. Yeah, that's true. Lots of people have like Animal Crossing Instagrams, um, like with really fancy islands and they'll share their custom designs on there too, which is useful. Um, Pinterest, not a bad idea actually. Pinterest is probably a good, a good shout. Um, okay. Okay, 
don't mind me. I'm just decorating. There's not a lot of space for a pathway on the side of this. <laughs> um, Cause I made it a little bit big. So oopsies. That's okay, we can move this. Um, we can move the bridge. Pinterest is evil. Oh. Really skinny path. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can we can rearrange a little bit. It's okay. Um I am not worried about it. Animal Crossing Instagram is toxic? I didn't know that. Aw, oh, thanks, Yellow. I'll see you later. Um, thanks for hanging out today. Okay, I think I want to, um... I think what I need to do is demolish that so that I can have the fence come down this way. I think it's the only way. Look, all we care about is seeing cute Animal Crossing pictures, so... I'm sure I, I, there might be like some toxic people on there, but like it's not all of them. I mean, you might hear the same thing about Sims Twitter, but like Sims Twitter is not to not toxic. There's always gonna be like some bad people, you know. There's always there's always bad eggs, but it's yeah. Like Christine just said the same thing. It's not like all of Sims Twitter is toxic, you know. Um, there's there, there's always gonna be some bad people in any fandom that are mean to others, but it's not everybody. It's never everybody. Oh yeah, that probably happens a lot, Hope. I bet. Um, okay. I want... <laughs> I need to move this bridge. <laughs> this is not good. Yeah, I'm willing to, to re-terraform a bunch of this river just so that this'll be more even. Um, that is totally fine with me. This is so tedious. Oh, it's fun though. I'm not really on Instagram much, so I'm not really part of Animal Crossing Instagram. I don't have much experience with it. Um, okay, how much money do I have on me? Okay, I can demolish the bridge. Oh, I know where I'm putting my museum for sure though, so I can put the museum down. It's gonna be right here. No! Okay. Let me imagine it, please. <gasps> I have to redo everything. <laughs> I have to move everything one tile up. Oh no, oh I'm sorry besties, I didn't really think about that part. No, maybe not. Maybe I'll- oh no. We have to go to- I'm- I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That actually works out better for- for this part though if we do have to move it. I'm not- okay, so I'm not gonna stream tomorrow, Pauline. Um, but I am gonna be live all day on Sunday. So it's kind of a weird week in that sense, because I, I won't be here tomorrow, and I usually am. And I'm not usually here on Sundays, but uh, Sunday is the first day of our charity event for Able Gamers. So I will be here all day on Sunday. Um, think about how cute this would be though. Isn't it cute? And there'll be like a path. I might move the- Oh, wait, I can't move the bridge up one. Wait. I should have left. Wait. Wait. I'm thinking if this path stays straight, because this is lined up with the shops. So this path being here is a pretty good thing. Then the dinosaur could be on this side of the path. 
and then this path would go straight down and up the sides. I have to demolish this bridge anyway. It's not in a good spot. Maybe I could always move. I don't know. <laughs> we'll think about it. This is horrible. Horrible. Yeah, I posted the schedule and announcements uh, in my Discord with the schedule for the charity event. Oh, my milk, Adora, Ms. Mel, McKenna, Louise. Thank you all for the subs, too. Um, oh, really, Hope? Oh, that's what I liked. That's the part that I liked. Oh, you're getting rid of it. I thought you were saying it was your new river for a second. I got excited. But that's not what you said. Oh, thanks, Head Nerd. I appreciate that. Okay, let's build a bridge. Oh wait, no, don't build a bridge. I want to destroy a bridge. Sorry, false alarm. Let's talk and I keep clicking the wrong thing. I'm so bad at this. I want layout changes. No, let's talk infrastructure. Pause, sorry. I clicked the wrong thing again. About bridges inclines. Oh, demolish something. Oh, Theodore, I am so proud of you. That's so exciting. Congratulations. Um, all right, let me pick the right bridge really fast. Suspension bridge, suspension bridge, suspension bridge. That is the suspension bridge that I wish to demolish because I want to put it closer. Yes. No, I clicked it again. Oh my God. Oh my God. The number of times that I click the wrong thing when I'm trying to do this. Oh, I'm going to freak out. Oh, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> I'm so angry at myself. <laughs> oh, I've done it like four times. Okay. That is the right one. Rio, um, because our charity event starts on Sunday. And I'm gonna be streaming for eight days straight for the charity event from Sunday to Sunday. So I won't be live tomorrow. Um, but we'll be here from Sunday all the way through next Sunday for Halloween every day. Take a second before choosing. Okay, well, yes, that would be smart. <laughs> that would be smart. <laughs> I'm not gonna stream like eight day. wait, not eight days straight, not like for eight days not sleeping or anything, but like eight days every day. With like special stuff happening each day because of the charity event. Sorry, I'm not Ludwig. <laughs> Have a good time, Hope. I'll see you later. Um, okay, I'm going on to the next day. No sleep? Yeah, no, 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 not for me. <laughs> okay, system, date and time. Go to the next day, please. We're gonna play The Sims on Sunday, Brie. We're gonna play Rags to Riches in The Sims. I'm planning on doing like a spooky Rags to Riches, like playing with the, the ghost hunter career and as a vampire. Oh wait, you aren't Ludwig? I always get you two mixed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy mistake, really common mistake to make me and Ludwig, you know, switching us. Um, do you know Almond Milk? I really like Story of Seasons. I've, um, I've streamed it a few times. They sponsored me a few times, um, but like, Sponsor aside, I really enjoyed playing Story of Seasons. I think that um, I don't like it as much as like the games that I stream regularly, obviously, because I, I play like these games every day. <laughs> um, but I do like it. Like, I think it's fun. I think it's a little bit pricey, um, but I do think it's fun. So I like that game. I'd recommend it if, you're, if you've seen like footage of it and you're thinking about getting it. I've had a lot of fun playing Story of Seasons. Um, I've only gone a couple days, Golden. <laughs> I'm just trying to move all my buildings. You with a vampire? I know. Shocking, right? <laughs> um, and me too, Imperfect Boy. I made a video today. I'm posting it tomorrow. Um, but I made a video, like a Sims news video today. Um, talking about uh, the fact that there's not going to be an expansion pack this year, kind of confirmed yesterday on Twitter by Simguru Frost, who said that the roadmap was through December and the roadmap has no expansion pack on it, so therefore no EP this year, um, aside from Cottage Living. Um, I made a video talking about that, and I kind of, like, touched on the fact that I we've gotten so many kits, but we haven't gotten, like, 
a stuff pack in so long. And like, if there's not going to be any more content, like, um, pack wise until 2021, well, we got, um, we first got, um, what's it called? Paranormal in January of 2020. So, I don't know. Sad. Pashmina was thinking? Pashmina was thinking? <gasps> you don't think she's gonna... Oh. She wants to give me a special greeting. I'm gonna say no. Sorry! Ooh, it's because you think you're my bestie, and I was hoping you were gonna leave. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. Um, okay. That's so mean. I'm sorry! She was mean. I thought she was gonna leave, and then I could replace her with someone. I am gonna replace her eventually. When the new villagers come out, I wanna get one of the new villagers, and she is the only villager I feel comfortable replacing. I'm, I'm very attached to all my other ones, and not to her. Stop. Okay, wait, this is correct, yes? Tell me it's correct. I cannot put more in front of it. Okay, perfect, so that is right. This is correct. The number, okay, yes, okay. I was right the first time, it's fine. I can't dig that up though, I need to go get a, another shovel. Oh, and I broke my bridge. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That was a mistake on my part. The one that I really want out of the new villagers is Marlo, the little, the little hamster. He's like speaking to me, I really want him, so. Um, oh, Calamity, if it was a resub, um, refresh and play it, like refresh your stream and then it'll let you like type a, um, a message with it so that you can share it. It looks like you're still subbed, but I didn't see an alert for it. So try and refresh and, and see if it like, plays that way. Um, you have a broken bridge today too, Robin? Yeah, it sucks. Really, Declan? I always love the name Marlo. The names Margo and Marlo are, I really like them. I think they're really pretty. I've always liked the name Margo. I think that's like one of my favorite names. <laughs> and Marlo is like close to it, so. Margo Westbrook, yeah, you can tell because I named a sim that for a Let's Play. <laughs> Flew Margo with the smiley face in the chat, yeah. I think you have a nice name. <laughs> Another Margo, let's go, my first win. <laughs> okay. You like the name Maisie? I like the name Maisie a lot too. I like the name Millie as well. I think those are all really pretty names. Okay. Let's see what we can do. I think Margot with a T, but I mean, both are pretty. I'm not here to... Oh wait, that's not gonna work. It needs to be... I'm gonna expand it on the bottom too, don't worry. Oh, Kellen's a nice name, Kellen. I, I, I stand by you on that one. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> um, okay, that'll do. And then we need to make it wider over here. Like a lot wider over here, probably. No! Oh my god. Oh, the name Addison is nice too. Um, the name Maeve. I like the name Maeve a lot. Dan's brother, um, and his fiance just got a dog a few months ago, and her name is Maeve. Um, I, I think that is a beautiful name. For a dog or a human. <laughs> I just like the name Maeve. I think it's really pretty. Um, yeah, they have a little shih tzu and her name is Maeve. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Okay. Oh yeah, that makes sense, Margot. You know, Dan does not have that problem. You go to a souvenir shop, there's stuff that says Dan. <laughs> You're not gonna have a hard time finding a, 
a mug that has the name Dan on it, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like old-fashioned seeming names. Yeah, I'm the same way, Christine. I think they're so pretty. Um... I think that's fine. I'm not a huge fan of how angled it is, but whatever. I have such a hard time with rivers in this game. Like, I have such a hard time trying to figure out how I wanna... Oh wait, that has to be, wait, it has to be like straight down at least this wide. What am I doing? Cause that's how long the path is. Yeah, rivers are hard to make look natural, I feel like. Oh wait, that was pretty good actually, the way it... That's fine, okay. Okay. Can you put a bridge on it when it's this wide? I think actually I want it to be even... I need to make it- I need to obviously make it more on the other side, but I need- I think I want this to be like all the way down this wide. Because I want there to be like a tile on the side of the path. Three tiles wide is the minimum? Okay, good. Alright, I'll have to add to it on this side though. Three to five wide, okay. That is fine by me. Oh my god, I just dug up what I was- <sighs> Oh my. Will it let me do it here? Yes, I don't have to get rid of the floor first. Thank god. Okay. I think that'll be okay. And then I'll make it um, a little bit less flat over here too. The river kind of curves around in a weird way. Oh, Calamity, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for the two month reset, by the way. And Zemray, thank you for the eight months. Can you die on Animal Crossing? Um, not die, die, but um, you can kind of die in Animal Crossing because, uh, but all that happens is like, if you get stung by a wasp twice, um, you don't like die, die, <laughs> but uh, your villager will, like their eye will get, the first time their eye will get all messed up. And then the second time um, it will like send you back to your house. <laughs> so you like pass out and then get sent back to your house. Same with when you get like stung by a tarantula or whatever, it like makes you pass out and send you back to your house. You faint. Is that fine? The scor the, uh, the scorpions too, yeah, the tarantulas and the scorpions. I think that's okay. Right? Is it fine? Is it fine? I don't know. I want it to be. <laughs> Do you get stung? Oh, you get bit by the spider, stung by the scorpion. Okay. It looks good? All right. That makes me feel better. <laughs> um, I appreciate that. Thank you. I have a really hard time with rivers. Um, so I'm streaming Animal Crossing because I have a capture card installed in my Switch watermelon um, that I like, so I have my Switch docked and plugged into the capture card, and the capture card is in my PC, like plugged into my PC. Um, so that's how I'm able to stream Animal Crossing. Um, okay, so here's a thought that I had. Um, 
I would like for this to still be... Well, I wanted it to still be a square. <laughs> is the thing. So maybe what I'll do is I'll make, like, the path a little bit wider here. And there will be a, um... Okay. There's gonna be, like, a, a square that you can stand in. And then somewhere I'm gonna have my dinosaur, too. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's okay, though. We're figuring it out. It's fine. Everything is fine. <sighs> the tree's a bit in the way. Add the- move the fountain down one and add fences to the top and bottom- or add benches to the top and bottom. I thought about that, but I want the benches to be on the, um... I don't know. I feel like we need to put something substantial under it anyway. Other than just a path. So maybe this will be for the best. I don't know. I need to think about this some more. Okay, but like, hear me out, right? There is a little section here. Or maybe the skeleton can go on this section. And we'll like center it on this section. Directly underneath the fountain. Just the skeleton and the benches can go here. And then I can have like my little garden with some flowers like I wanted down at the bottom. So maybe that works out. Yeah, sorry, skeleton sounds a lot worse than fossil. I know, I apologize. <laughs> um, watermelon, it's currently 7.03 p.m. for me. Um, but I'm on the east coast of the US. America has a few different time zones, so I don't know um, what in particular you're looking to hear. <laughs> Okay. Okay. 10,000 bells! That paid to demolish my bridge! <laughs> Is the stream ending soon? Um, not just yet. I want to make a little bit more progress on this. I need to build another bridge, move another house, ideally clear up this whole area so there's space for everything. I think that's the plan. The name Bridgeport is the name of a world in The Sims 3. <laughs> um, I named my island after a world in The Sims 3. <laughs> oh, really, Talia? It's so much fun, isn't it? Okay, I want to look up Animal Crossing Path Border. Look. That kind of thing. Or this one. Was it not transparent? Or this one. That's for the other stone. Or this one. Oh, there's too many options. No, you can't move the city hall building, unfortunately. Um, well, I need to look for some more. Stone path border animal crossing. That's the border you have? Oh, that's a good sign then. Eight path borders for your default animal crossing new horizons island paths.
This is the most popular border on the Animal Crossing QR code subreddit. <laughs> I think I like this one. Do you think? It is pretty. I, I support it. <laughs> I might look at that one. Let me see what, um... Pinterest is weird, Veg. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> okay, that's creator code MA09639084664. Yeah, I think I like the more square one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see what it looks like. The site length? Here's a link. I just googled like Animal Crossing path borders. And this is an article with a bunch of them. Um, search by creator ID. Okay. Zero. Nine. Six. Three. Nine. Oh. Nine. Zero. Eight. Four. Six. Six. Four. Four. No, that's six six eleven. Oh my god, how did I do that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh nine six three nine zero eight four six six four four. Okay. Oh <laughs> I'm a mess. Ooh. Well, which one is it? Oh my god, they have so many. I think it's this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Okay. Let's do it. We got options. <laughs> You've got one for every path, besties. This is big. Okay. Next. We're gonna be here for a while, aren't we? <laughs> you have this one too? Yeah, I like this one. I think this one's nice. Oh uh, yeah, this process is a bit slow. Everything in Animal Crossing is a bit slow and tedious. Oh, that is a poop custom design. Yeah, I have a poop custom design because um, uh, back when you could, f when we could do fireworks, like the custom design fireworks, um, I got a poop custom design to have it be one of the fireworks. So. It didn't really work that well. No, I assume you can do the custom design fireworks still too, but the, it was back from like last summer um, that we did it. Laying borders on paths takes forever. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna regret this. But the fireworks only happen in August, yeah. So. We can always time travel back to August to do some poop fireworks. Should you get into Animal Crossing? Yeah. Listen, Bestie, you watch enough Animal Crossing streams. <laughs> I think you're already into Animal Crossing. You might not play it yet, but <laughs> you watch enough Animal Crossing streams. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you're into Animal Crossing. <laughs> you're here every day. <laughs> I missed the first small corner? Oh, did I? Oh, I didn't get those corners. Oh, yeah. I'll have to add them. I only have one tiny corner. So we have to get the rest of them. You just wanted to skip 10 seconds and then realize it was a stream? Well, you're trying to skip past me getting my custom design pieces, hmm? <laughs> you're trying to skip past my custom design getting, are you? I see how it is. Okay, I meant to put this in a different spot and I, um, I grabbed the middle one by accident, so. <laughs> I missed this. Bye, Genevieve. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later. You returned Animal Crossing? Did you not like it at first, Jess? Well, I think you should give it another shot. <laughs> I think you should come back and give it another shot. Okay, as long as I get these, um, I just wanna 
make sure I have all the paths. I want to look at what it looks like and then make sure I move another house. And then we can, oh, move another house, build the bridge, then I can get off stream. <laughs> and I'll see you on Sunday. But I need to make sure I move the houses and stuff before I forget. That is important to me. Okay. Let's try the, the custom pathing. Let's see what we, wrong thing. Let's see what it looks like. What if I don't like it and we spent all that time getting the custom design and it's also bad? I don't think it's gonna be bad. <gasps> oh, it's not bad, it's so cute. Oh my God, it's perfect. Oh my God, it's perfect. Oh, this is the best day. Okay. Yep. Now we have to use that everywhere. <laughs> this is a disaster. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well. I'll work on this a little bit tonight. Let's go build the bridge quickly. <laughs> Yeah, five hours later, we're gonna still be doing it. Just you wait. No, so I, that's the thing, Ellie. I'm not gonna stream tomorrow. Um, because I'm gonna be streaming on Sunday instead. So I'm gonna take tomorrow off to make sure I have enough time to finish preparing for my charity event. Um, and then we're gonna stream on Sunday, all day. From like 10 a.m. to like 7 o'clock. So like from 10 a.m. to like now. Um, that is my plan. Oh yeah, I'll put things in the corners. I, I got like a million pieces for it, Vulp. Um, so we'll put the corner pieces. I just don't want to do that right now. <laughs> um, okay, I want to get like... I can't even afford that. I can't even take that many bills. Oh no. Say hi to Mary and Spider-Man. Hi Mary and Spider-Man, what's up? Okay, let's go. Let's talk infrastructure. I would like to get a bridge, please. Let's build a bridge. I would like the suspension bridge, please. Am I streaming 24 hours on Sunday? Oh, good God. No, you will never catch a 24 hour stream from me. I'm gonna stream like 10 hours on Sunday. <laughs> Not 24. I posted a schedule in the Discord um, if you want to see, like, what the plan is. Um, but we're going to be live at 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. That is the plan. And then we're going to do a 12-hour stream next Sunday. So we got a couple things planned for the next couple days. I don't have any space. He didn't give me my bridge might cry about it. <laughs> might cry about my lack of bridge, I'm not gonna lie. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Let's try again. Yeah, I'm excited too, Gothic. I'm really excited. Um, we have like, there's 154 streamers that have sent me their schedules. This is the wrong thing. We're gonna do Rags to Riches in The Sims, Abby. That's the plan. Um, I'm very excited. Yeah, Scrippins, we um, have like some simmers that we asked. Uh, I think we have like a pretty, pretty much the whole group of 10 ready. Um, in case like someone, well, I guess if someone like says they can't do it anymore, then we don't. But <laughs> I think we have our group of 10 ready for Among Us. It's a bunch of simmers that are also a part of the charity stream. Um, so, that is the situation. We got a lot of stuff planned for next week. <laughs> um, make the bridge diagonal? Ah, uh, uh, I just finished terraforming a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so, Water, we're gonna be raising money for a charity called Able Gamers. Um, they're a charity that helps to improve accessibility in video games by doing things like working with game developers to help develop games that are more accessible, um, like with more accessibility settings and things like that. Um, and they also help to develop and distribute like um, specialized controllers and other like assistive technology for people that need it to play games. Um, I'm gonna talk a lot about it all week, um, but they, no. <laughs> I need to move my, I need to redo this, I think. Uh, but they do a lot of good, so we're gonna raise some money for them again. Oh no, it's fine. This is the spot, thank you. Yay! 
Okay. I need to get like 130,000 bells for that and then another like 50,000 to move another house. Which house should I move next? Maybe Lolly's? I think. <sighs> that is the plan. Fribbin, thank you for the six months. <laughs> um, okay. And Pessimistic and 80, thank you for the subs. Cashy as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, yeah, Jess, I'm really excited. Um, so if you guys didn't know, uh, we raised a lot of money for Able Gamers last year, um, partly in an effort to help my friend Steve. So last year, my friend Steve is the COO of Able Gamers, um, and he set a goal last year that he wanted to raise a million dollars for Able Gamers in honor of his 40th birthday. Um, and he obviously was trying to like have other streamers participate and like help because <laughs> that is no that is not a one man task, you know? Um, and so I did a lot of fundraising for Able Gamers last year. And then this year he asked me and a few other streamers to be champions, like basically like ambassadors um, to, to help recruit a lot of other streamers to raise, I, it was this year. <laughs> it was, it was this year. It was only a few months ago, but I'm in times of like the, the spawn together event, it was like last spawn together event because it starts in September. <laughs> so it was not that long ago. It was only a few months ago, but it, like in terms of the spawn together event, um, it was like last one, you know, the first one. And then this time he's asked a few other streamers to help. Um, reach that goal and like to help recruit other streamers to join um so like i have like a team on tiltify um of people that i have asked to also raise money for able gamers right now uh and so we've got like 150 people that have have offered to do it with me next week so i'm so excited also just 48 months four years hello how did this happen <laughs> Um, guys, if you don't follow Jess and Doodle on Twitch, Jess is my emote artist. So all those beautiful cat emotes that you see and love so much, uh, Jess is the one who drew them. That is the mastermind behind the emotes. So if you don't follow her on Twitch, um, well, you should. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Jess. It's good to see you. Um, that is such a long time. <laughs> How did this happen? Okay, I'm gonna move, um... I said I was gonna move Lolly first. Yeah, Gothic, I'm really glad that um, I, a lot of people are doing their first charity streams with us next week. Um, and I, I think this is a really good opportunity as well. Also, it's not too late. If you wanna join us, like you can totally, I'm not gonna say no to join for charity. So if you wanna stream for Able Gamers next week, let me know, I can help you get set up. Um, just seriously, like message a mod and I can send you the information. Um, but um, a lot of people, it's their first ever charity stream. Um, and now it's a really good time if you've wanted to do one for a while and you're not really sure like how, and like you could use some help with like, incentive ideas or like setting up captions on your stream. Like this is a, a good opportunity because a bunch of us are like super able and willing to help you right now, you know, um, which is cool. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just really excited. Um, yeah, exactly, Gothic. Yeah, 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 that's the thing. So like you're, you are one of many people I think that are doing their first one ever right now, which is really cool. So do they ever say no to moving? Not that I've seen. They always say yes, uh, I, not just that I've seen. They won't ever say no to you. <laughs> they won't say no. Um, okay. On You can do it on Twitch, Gamer Elephant. You can like um, whisper one of the people with a sword next to their name, or if you want us to message you, just call it out. We can whisper you right now. Um, but um, oh, let me put the... We've made a lot of progress today. I think everyone message you please okay Marissa can you like write down some names <laughs> so we can make sure we get them whispered after stream can you write down some of the people that are typing right now um clown cutie moosey um a couple people and we can send the whispers um it'll be easier that way so I'll we'll get the whispers to you after I get off stream so that's easier I can like show my mods what they need to send and stuff but there you go Nice work, everybody. I'm really excited about it. So. <laughs> okay. Just a couple more things I wish to do before I leave. Like, 
place a couple more fences. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, Avery, so if you signed up but you didn't get the Discord invite, that might be because we couldn't contact you on Discord to send it to you. There were a bunch of people that, like, fill out their Discord username and they either, like, their username was wrong or, um, for the most part it was, like, their privacy settings were too high and we couldn't whisper them or message them. So, Avery, let's write down, let's write down your name too and I'll look into it and I'll get back to you on Twitch about it. Um, but there are a lot of people that like signed up and requested an invite, but we couldn't send them the invite because their their Discord settings were too high that it like wouldn't let us whisper them or message them on Discord. Um, so that might that might have been it, Avery. But it's okay. We can get it to you tonight. Um, I think that happened to a lot of people. It's not just you, so don't like feel bad about it or anything. Um, but if you signed up and you didn't hear from us, it's probably because we couldn't send a message to you. <laughs> um, so. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna get off stream here in a second. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at my paths and like getting excited. <laughs> I need to stop. It's gonna look really cute, I think. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you all for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the stream. I will see you on Sunday for the first day of our charity event. Um, Biscuit, it's for if people who wanted to join our charity event that wanted, um, I didn't like post access to the Discord publicly for the charity streams. I had people like fill out a form if they wanted access to the Discord. Um, so that's what they were signing up for, is like signing up for access to the, um, to the thingy. Anyway, um, so I'll see you on Sunday for the first day of our charity event. We're gonna play The Sims, like I said, we're gonna play that rag searches with the, the vampire. <laughs> So that should be interesting. Um, but I'm really excited. Also, can I show you guys something really fast? So um, the, the charity event hasn't like officially started yet. A few people have started streaming this week, um, but it hasn't like officially started yet. But look, we've already raised $2,600. And we haven't even started yet. Like it technically starts on Sunday. Isn't that so cool? Well, like a bunch of people have been streaming already, so. I'm just really excited. Anyway, um, <laughs> I can't wait. I really can't wait. Um, I've just put, I've put so much work into it, so I'm really excited to um, to see where it goes. Okay, I think this will be fun. Um, Sarah Kendall is streaming my shell challenge. <laughs> so let's go over there and let's go over there and raid them, shall we? Um, Dream to Inspire, thank you for the 15 month resub. Um, I love Sarah. I think their streams are so much fun. Um, did Twitch change how it looks? Look at this. When did it start looking like this with the... Has it always... Since when does it look like that? That's nice. Did Twitch change their like UI and stuff? Okay. This is the first I've seen it. Anyway, we're gonna go raid Sarah. Um, thank you again, everybody, for hanging out today. Yeah, maybe it's like slowly being rolled out to channels. It might not be everywhere yet. That happens sometimes. Girl, it's been like that? No, not on my channel. <laughs> you might see that on yours, but um, mine doesn't look like that. This is the first I've seen it. I don't know. Um, they roll these things out slowly, though. It's it's not common for it to be everywhere all at once. Um, Lot and love and Athena and dream to inspire. Thank you all for the subs. Um, yeah, that's the first I've seen it. Mine has it for you. Oh, interesting. Well, hey. <laughs> um, yours still looks old. Yeah, that's weird. Anyway, go say hi to Sarah for me. I'll see you all on Sunday. Thank you for hanging out. Have a wonderful evening. Okay, goodbye.